Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us learn some good words for today. Uh, yesterday, you know, uh, somebody he sent me an email uh, with a video of someone saying that Jesus, he worship Allah. And then the idiot in the video, he says, uh, Allah is the word for God in Hebrew. And he says it's Elaha. So I wanted to make this video just, it's a kind of a comedy in the same time education. You see, the problem is that many people there, they can put like a thousand books behind them in the shelves to fool you that they are educated. Me, myself, I don't have a single book behind me. Uh, not even one, just to let you know. Maybe now you don't consider me a person who knows what I'm talking about, because I don't have any book behind me. Uh, first, if you ask any Muslim, is the word Allah, is the word mean God, or it's the name of the God? They will say to you, it's the name of God. It is the unique name of God. Okay. If we go and see the word this person he mentioned to me in the Aramaic language, is it a name of God or it's a word mean God? The answer is, it's a word mean God. doesn't matter what God is. And it's not the same as Allah. I don't blame you. Most of you, you know, you, you, if you search, if you search, there's a lot of propaganda about Allah is the same God in Aramaic. However, uh, actually, me, myself, I believe that Allah, the word Allah, is not an Arabic word anyway. And it is something the Arab they took from other religion, the same as Baal, the same as any other names. Uh, but when somebody, he claimed that he is going to teach you and say, Jesus, he worshiped God, calling him uh, Allah. Calling him what? Allah. In Aramaic, Uh, this is this is a uh, you know just some website I'm just showing you from a website not uh, I mean nothing really official but just to show you how the how how people they can fool you. Allah, Allah. Okay. And then the same word is ilah. Ilah. The last letters those are a sound you know it's like a, to make it a sound of holiness it's not even a part of the word. So what is the real word? If we go, let us check a little bit. All right. Just to show you what you will find in the internet and why sometimes people they get confused because it's not your fault. You know, people who they are supposedly trying to teach you, they are the one who deceiving deceiving you. The word ilah, ilah has nothing to do with the name of God. It's just a word used by Aramaic language for any God. Ilah, Ilah, the last, the, at the end, those are sound. They are not even part of the word. Il is the word God. In the ancient Aramaic, and the ancient, actually even the ancient Hebrew, the word was Al, not Il. Allah. Allah. If you go in the Bible, you will find the word Il, as an example, Gabriel, Israel. All those names, they used to be Gabriel, Israel. Let us find you some reference. Give me a second.
uh, this is a book those topics are not for people who want to like relax this is for somebody who want to really study and learn this is the name of the book as you see in the front of you um, and whoever made the book anyway he is not making things from his pocket this is what it is this is ancient Hebrew the meaning of Israel let us highlight Israel Israel you will notice that the last two letters they are written differently it is E L let me see if I can zoom in hold on uh, All right, I think this is better. So you can read it better. All right. If you read from the beginning, it's speaking about the God of the Jews and how the language work. All right. And then here it says it come to here. What is the origin of the word Israel as example? What is the root of this word in Hebrew? Is it really Israel? Like now all of us we say Israel. Even the name of the country for the Jews they say Israel. Because this is in the language of the Hebrew today. But in fact the word is not really the, the real name, the old name. It was not like that. Everything end with il today in the Hebrew used to end with al. Which means the word il which means God replaced the word Al, which is God. Hmm? So when they say Allah, Allah, he is saying God. This is not even a name. When they say Ilah, this is a word God. This is not a name. When they say Ilahi, by making E, that's my God. None of them is a name. So when you get an idiot speaking to you about the name of God, and again, I don't blame you for being ignorant if you believe what they say to you in website. Like many of them, they say Allah is coming from the word uh, uh, Ilah. Like here. This is a Christian website, supposedly. Christianity to Bible, WordPress. But obviously, it's you know it's WordPress anyway, free website. Uh, it says the word Allah or Ilah, Ilah, Ilah. Okay, coming from the Aramaic, can read the rest. But this is really uh, uh, there is a deception here, for the word in the Islamic religion, and all the Muslims agree that this is not a word meaning God, even if it's about speaking about God. When you say the word Allah, the Muslim, they will say, yeah, we are talking about God. This is God. But for the Muslims, it's a name. You can, you can check right now in Prophet Google, peace upon him. You will see the Muslim, they give you definition for the word Allah. They say this is the unique name of Allah. It's a unique name. It's not only, just, it's not only a name. It is a unique name. Then why we we see some people saying what they're saying to us, trying to confuse you and fool you? Everybody is almost under the influence of a propaganda and a stupidity. First of all, in the whole Bible, there's no names. Nowhere God, he gave a name for himself. Like somebody would say, God, he said, my name is Jehovah. Uh, you know, somebody would say to me, God, his name is Elohim. Somebody will say, he says, even the Bible says my name, my name. This is how you call me. My name is not a name, really. If you go and check all the words which you've been taught that they are names of God, you will find none of them is a name. None. 
the same website who fool you about Allah is the same website to prove Allah to be false the same one who claimed to be a teacher is the same one who you know he say uh, uh, silly stuff this is a list of names as they call them names for God in the Bible okay but as you see they are not names Abba means father so is that a name no so why you are saying it's a list of names eternal father you see here you see all the names Adam the second Adam the last Adam which is supposedly the, the Messiah right okay is that a name no You see the meaning for them, you know? I mean, none of them is a name. Adonai, is it a name? No. It's a word, mean my, uh, my Lord, my Lord. Okay. Uh, Elohi. Adonai Elohi. Huh? The Lord, the God of the host. Is that a name? No. <laughs> So anyway, we don't want to read all of them, but you will see. And then the same guy, he says to you here, look at this. Allah, a uh, contraction of the word Al-Ilah. Allah is a contraction of the word Al-Ilah. Al-Ilah. Here you see the stupidity. He just said, look, he said, the God. So the word Al-Ilah, which is not written like correctly, let us write it correctly. Al-Ilah. All right. Not as he wrote it but with I. Because this is coming again from Il. He is ignorant again. So, uh, in the new language, the A-L present the. In the old Hebrew, old, even Aramaic, the word Al present God. Allah is coming from the old language, not the new. No change in it. Because it was a name, you cannot change it. So this word is al ila You will notice here that when they use the word al as the and the word il ah as God, which one we said the word il is? Il is God. So what is the sound? Ah, it's a sound like of holiness to make it. It's like a beauty. Ila ila. So the word of God is il. This is the part where the word God is. The rest is just a sound. Il. Gibra il. Go search now what the meaning of the word Gabriel. Mikael. Israel. Ishmael. So il always present God. And the rest uh, you attach to it, it can appear at the end of the word. It can appear in the beginning. As an example, uh, uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. The old Emmanuel will be Emmanuel. Because in the old Hebrew, the word A-L was God, not E-L. As we showed you in the previous, uh, uh, in the book, we open for you here as an example of Israel, Israel, Israel um, etc. The only change is the E became the A L became E L. So the the sound change of the letter E uh, A to E. All right. 
So if we check all the names or what we, people, they uh, uh, mistakenly, they think they are names, you will find none of those are names. There's no names. When God, he says to Moses, go and tell your people, they said, what, what I will say, what's your name? He said, I am who I am, the one who exists by myself. This is not a name. Even they says, what, what, is, <laughs> what I will tell you who you are. It's not a name. Those are not names. Those are description for God. All right. Like even when we say Christ, is a Christ a name? Yeah, we you know we call him Christ, so obviously it's a name. But even the word of Christ is not a name. It is a description for the person, what this person can do. Who is he? Is he the chosen one? The word Jesus. The one who will rescue, the rescuer, the savior. So even that one, you will find it's, it end to be as not a name, but all of us, we use it as a name because it's what we call him with. But the second you call him by those words, you are calling him the anointed one. You call him the savior. You call him the salvation. You are, you are not just, you know, you are not really calling him by a name. Uh, God, the son. And for sure, those are, you know, Hebrew words. If you read them, uh, you know, for you, they sound like a name. And this is the problem because you are a person who don't speak the language and it sounds different for you. It sounds like a name. So you think it's a name. All right. It sounds like a name for you. I mentioned many times that in the Bible, really, there is no really names. Like even... Adam is not a name. Abraham, Abraham or Abraham is not a name. Moses is not a name. There's no names. This is a this is a holy book. And this holy book is very deep. So when you say the word Moshe, you are telling the story of of Musa, what happened to him or Moses? What happened to to Moses? So right away from the name you know, oh this is the person who was almost going to drown. We are talking about specific person. It's not really a name. Abraham is the one who crossed to the other side. It's not a name. He crossed where? He crossed from the land where people don't believe in God to the land where people will believe in God. He crossed the river. He crossed to the other side. So mistakenly, people, they think that those are names when the Bible have no names. Ishmael is not a name. Israel is not a name. So when you read this is in Hebrew, because this is a this is a language you do not know. You might think, oh, this is okay. It says the uh, you know the God of Jacob, Jacob, he called himself in such a way, you know, or is he's been called or named by such a way. The fact it says the mighty one of Jacob. Who is my mighty one? The God I worship. The one who baptized. Is that a name? And you see here, you have a pronunciation for them. So many ignorant, they go around in the bushes and they say stupid things. You can go right now, check, search, what the names of God, the, the list of the names of God and their meaning. There is no names. Those are not names. Adonai, the Jews, they keep saying every day, Adonai, 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 Adonai. So why you might think, okay, this is the name of the God. This is why the book in the, uh, of the uh, Kenza Rabbah, the book of the Sabian, they say the, the God of the Jews, Adonai, they think this is his name because they don't speak the language. He is the devil. He ordered them to, to do circumcision. But Adonai is not name. 
Al Shaddadi is not a name. All those are not names. Don't make them fool you. And the reason there is no names because this God, there's no name can describe him. Do you think really there is a name can describe him? No name. You will notice here how the word eel is coming before anything almost. Do you see eel? Eel. Eel. Simply, there is no name. It's just a word mean God and whatever after it, a description for this God. But eel can be a word used, you know, a God, just a word mean God. El Shaddadi, right? the mighty God. Okay, is that his name? Elohim, is that the name? How many of you heard the people saying Elohim is the name, right? So we say yes, okay, it's we call Elohim because this is a unique word in Hebrew. And because it's a unique word in Hebrew, describing certain God, which is our God, we say it's a name, but in fact it's not a name. Do you understand? This is not a name. The second you say Elohim, you are talking about the Creator. And as long as you believe in one Creator, that means the word Elohim is going to that Creator who you believe in Him. But it's not a name. But how many of you heard people saying to you, this is a name? His name is Elohim. We can accept that, you know, because, okay, we can, the second we say uh, Elohim, that's mean either I am a Christian or a Jew. Correct? So it's a unique name as the way we use it, but in the Bible it's not. It's as I say, we identify ourselves by saying, you know, we pray to Elohim. The second we, we say Elohim, we are talking about a certain word exists in a certain book, and by doing that, we mean the God of the Christians and the God of the Jews, as simple as that. But Elohim itself is just a word mean the Creator God, or God the Creator. Yahweh, or Yahweh. The God is always there. Okay, how many of you heard, and we say, Yahweh is God, the name, he, is, he said my name. I am who I am. But as you see, this is not even a name. Musa has asked him, okay, what I will tell my people? Are we listening? Because uh, somebody saying, so you are a pagan, that's stupid of you, Johnny. Uh, all languages is coming from people before us. And we, we ourselves today is taking our language from people before us. So don't be stupid. So if somebody says to you, oh, the word is, let's say, eel, used to be used by people who worship different God. So who care? It's a word mean God. That's why we are saying it's not a name. But eat it like this guy, he says to you, oh, so you are, you are a pagan. <laughs> we'll be pagan if we worship Baal. That is a name of God. But we don't. All right. Uh, so many they fool you and they give you, you know, like even there is there is some educated people. Let us see if we can find you some uh, articles to help you. You know, when you do a little search, right away you will find good information and false information. As an example, il aha, il aha. Okay. How in the world this is have to do with God? Look, he says, Allah similarity, the Ara Aramaic word for God. Allah is Aramaic word for God. You will notice here it says, Allah, aha, not Allah. 
if you go in the Quran, let us go in the Quran, in the yellow pages of Muhammad. And we explained that to you many times. From the first page in the Quran, you will notice something very important. Chapter 1, verse number 1 and verse number 2, both of them, they can explain what we are saying. Just to show you they are ignorant when they say to you, Allah is the same as Allah. You will notice here it says, Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Now, if we focus a little bit in the word Allah, let us zoom in more so we can make it big for you. All right. You will notice, let us color the line. with brown color and we will make it very thin you will notice here with me if you look in the screen that there is a letter here I will put it underneath of the letter you see it this is the letter let us write it again This is the letter under the letter which is shown in the word just to show you different but here this letter is not exist what i mean here i mean it should be written here you notice do you notice okay if allah is a one word and this is a name you don't take letters off it the name will stay the same do we agree in any language doesn't matter doesn't matter really what the language is you don't take letters off from the names the names will, will stay the same the reason the names will stay the same because they are names they are not just a word you cannot add you cannot take if, if, my, if, if my name is a Christian, then you cannot say the letter C from the beginning. That will change my name. It's not the same no more. You cannot pronounce it the same. You cannot say it, say it the same. So what happened? Why in the first word, there's letter A, Aleph, and in the second word, there's no A, Aleph. Let us... Uh, make the words more clear the first one is Al let us type it in Arabic first Allah but if I separate those words we will find something else or let us say separate the letters what happened okay l la let us make a space between them all right this is the word in full but in fact this word is not correctly written it's Al La. We mentioned to you and we showed you that Israel was Israel. Daniel was Daniel was Daniel. Mikael was Mikael. Al is an in the ancient language was a word meaning God, replaced today by Il. So here you notice that this is Allah is A A L Al La. Okay. How we can prove it? The verse after it. Read the verse after it. It says the following. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdu mean thanks, praise, thanks, you know. Li lah. Li, it's not Allah. It's not Allah no more. It might look for you as if it's word Allah. No, as we said, there's a missing letter. By taking that letter off, the word is changing. Alhamdulillah. Let us write it down. And I changed it in Muslim to say it's not true. 
So alhamdu, thanks. Li, li in Arabic mean two. La. So what happened? What is Allah? Li mean two. Li in Arabic, this first li you see here. Let us make an arrow. This li. Let us make it in red. This li is a word. It's it's not a it's, it's not a really it's it's just a letter, but mean two. You add it before anything, you know, like belong to who. Li la. So he's saying thank you. Li to la. Where is Allah? What happened to Allah? How Allah is being stripped and became three letters. You see here we don't see ilah. We don't say Allah. We say la. For this is the name of the God. And it's not a secret. You can go right now and search and you will find that the word la mean or the word la is the name of the moon God. If Allah is the full name how I explain the full word I just did Abby what's wrong I just did I just said to you al al la mean God la the word al uh, how many time we have to say it the word al guys how many time I said the old word for God is a l a l so this one here, A-L, is a word mean God. So, Al-Lah mean God-Lah. Is it really too much complicated? This word is, A-L, is a word mean God. Doesn't matter what God. Even if it's a God of the Christians. When you speak in the ancient language, you say Al, as we showed you, Israel, Mikael. Now became Il. So Israel became, it became Israel, not Israel. Ishmael became Ishmael. So Al is a word, me God. In the current language today, Al is a, is a, is a word mean that. This is in the in the in the use today. So if I want to speak to somebody who's ignorant, to make it simple for him to show him that this is not the name of your God, I say, okay, A L today is what he would say mean the. Okay, you put it before what we put it before noun. Okay, what is after it la? So the la. This is the simple way, but if you want to go deep in the roots of the languages you will find that A-L is just a word meaning God, and whatever you put after it is going to be the name of that God. Are we clear? So, when uh, when uh, when somebody come to you and says, oh, you are denying in the name of God, you idiot. There is no names of God in the Bible. You are just a certified donkey. When Moses says to to to, uh, to to God, he says, "What's your name? What I will tell my people?" He tell them. He said to them, "I am who I am," which means the one who exists by himself. Nobody created me. Nobody made me. There is no names. In the top of that. Our differences with the Mohammedan is not about a name. Once I was in a village, you know, in the middle of nowhere, I saw a guy, he have a Mercedes sign in the top of his car. And his car is old, I don't know what, what you know, it's like trusty. And his car is not Mercedes. But you know, he want to make his car look like a Mercedes. So he put the sign of Mercedes in the front, in the top of his engine. But is it a Mercedes? So, if the Muslims, for the sake of argument, change the name of their God, they call him Jesus. Even Jesus is not a name. Even Jesus is not a name. Even Christ is not a name. Don't be ignorant.
Do you remember the video we played for you before about secret code in the book of Genesis? Do you remember it? Genesis 5? When you read them, because this is a foreign language for you, you don't speak the language, you think those are names. But in fact, they are not. So even normal people in the Bible, they are not, they don't have names, really. This is a very deep book. This is not Zachariah book. When we say the Bible, it's very deep book. Let me find you the video so you can understand a little bit more. It doesn't hurt. Here we go. Give me a second to put it for you on the screen. All right. We'll do what we can there. And so our ministry has really based on two. Let us see, just to remove, we don't want to, you know. So this guy is a professional in the language, you know. This is a profession. So I'm going to show you some of those things as an example. Let's start with the riddle. We all know who, who's the oldest man in the Bible. Anybody? Who's the oldest man in the Bible? Anybody? Methuselah. Good for you. He, he lived 969 years. And yet he died before his father. Does that bother you? He's the oldest man in the Bible. But he died before his father. The one who is saying, answer my question, let me finish, and then we will say, who have a question? Learn the good, good, good manner. When we finish, we say, who have a question? Then we can take your question. Don't post questions, you know, like, as if you have a diarrhea problem. See, everybody forgets who his father was. And so uh, his father was Enoch, right? Now, Enoch's an interesting guy. We know quite a bit about Enoch, strangely enough. When he was 65 years old, something happened in his life which caused him from that day on to walk with God, whatever that means, okay? What happened there? Something else you need to understand, the flood of Noah did not come as a surprise. The flood of Noah was preached on for four generations. And Enoch was told that as long as his newly born son is alive, the judgment of that flood would be withheld. And he, that's why he named him Methuselah. As you analyze that word in the Hebrew, it comes from a root, muth, which means his death. It occurs 125. See, see how smart, intelligent, educated people speak? You see how the Bible works? It's not just a guy he called his son a name. Like, okay, my wife, she gave birth. So the Bible is different level of books. Did you notice what happened now? The son, he was given name based in a promise. It was not a name, okay, uh, him and his wife, okay, what we'll call him now, call him Jimmy, huh? No. All those are not names. They present a story. They present a situation. They present a case. Times in the Old Testament. And the verb shalak, which means to send forth, to bring or send forth. The name Methuselah actually means, from the roots, his death shall bring. And it's interesting, as you study your Bible, Methuselah lived 187 years, and then he had a son by the name of Lamech. And when, and Lamech was, when he was... a Now, if you stop here, okay, Methuselah, okay, it's a name. Lamech is a name. Noah is a name. This is what we know. Because those are foreign language for us. This is our ignorance. But in fact, none of those are names. 182, he had a son by the name of Noah. And we know that in, it was in the 600th year of Noah that the flood came. 
In other words, Methuselah's life was a duration of God's mercy, but it got to a point when the judgment came. So it, he fulfilled that prophecy. You girls, can you imagine raising that kid? Every time he caught a cold, the entire neighborhood would go into panic. As long as he's alive, everything's fine. But when he died, the flood came. Now what's interesting about this is, when you get to Genesis chapter 5, we tend to sort of skip over it. Genesis 1 and 2, the creation, that's great stuff. Genesis 3 is the seed plot for the whole Bible. Genesis 4, the murder, and so forth. And Genesis 6 on is the flood of Noah. Genesis 5 is one of those chapters you have a tendency to skip over. I mean, what is it? It's just a genealogy of ten guys. Okay. Exactly. People want to read, okay, this person, he begotten this person, this person begotten this person, this person begotten, so why I want to read those names? They don't exist anyway. This is how important this book, this is not like the stupid Quran. Speaking about the end, she heard the, she heard, she told the end that Suleiman is coming. This is not the flying carpet. This is how deep this book. So what those names are presenting for us and why they are even there, why we need to know about them. It's just, just uh, okay, who, who, who be getting who? No. Listen carefully. Okay, Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Yared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah. The problem with Genesis 5 is that it's not translated for you. We, most of us are operating from an English translation. In this case, those names are transliterated. The meaning isn't there. It's an approximation of how they pronounced it. See? Do you see? They told you how they pronounce it, but they did not tell you what, those are not really names. You know, Noah. <laughs> so when we say Noah, it's a name, a guy, come on, his name is Noah. Like, hello. There's no translation. Why would there's no trans? Because supposedly it's a name. How are you going to translate a name? And say, we, we, we don't know how to deal with it. See, what do names mean? My legal name is Charles. What does that mean? Nobody knows. It's been lost. People have different conjectures, but no one's quite sure. Many of us in this room probably have names that were just given to us by our parents because it appealed to them at the time. It doesn't necessarily carry significance. But in Hebrew, it's a whole other thing. Many of you may not realize that Hebrew is the only language that's semimic, not just phonetic. Most alphabets are phonetic. They, they, they lend insight as to how you pronounce a word. Hebrew is unique in that the original Hebrew, the Paleo-Hebrew, symbolized a concept, not just a sound, a meaning. The first letter was written sort of like an oxen's head. It re represented strength or first. Aleph, that's what it originally meant. After the Babylonian captivity, Hebrew adopted a, a box form that we see today. It's lost its roots from its original Paleo-Hebrew. Uh, see, the Aleph, you see, I mean, look, look how deep things can go. Even the letter, even the letter in the language is not just a letter. So the Aleph, the Alpha, present what? Present the strength. Very strong. Present the beginning at the same time. So, the, the let us say, the amazingly statement is, is even a start with the letter. And uh, Hebrew Department of the University of Arizona pointed out to me that if they teach the kids the Paleo-Hebrew letters, which will remind them of the meaning of the letter, they can end up, that takes maybe an hour to learn, they can read about 80% of Hebrew because Hebrew verbs, especially, but Hebrew words are based on a three-letter root. And if you know the alphabet, the meaning of the alphabet, you can know what the word will mean. The aleph there is, typically means first or strength, uh, and, and, or leader, if you will. The second letter is bet, originally written like it is on the left. Today it's written a little differently, but that bet represented a house or home. And bet, that's what it means. It means house or family. Bethlehem, the house of bread. Bethel, the house of God. See, Beth, the, the letter itself carries meaning. It's a, it's, a, it has a, it's a semim, not just a phoneme. And so, if you take an aleph and a bet together, that's the first 
uh, uh, or the, the leader of the house. Who's the leader of the house? The Do you remember? We just showed you that the Hebrew, they called God Abi or Abba. 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 <laughs> you remember? It's not just a, it's coming from, the alphabet is the word about God. Even the alphabet itself is about God. That's their name for father, you see. Abba, Abba father, okay. And uh, if you take the letter He, which is a breath, like an open window or two arms reach up, the word He is a breath or spirit, if you will. If you put a He in the middle of the word, it represents the essence of that word. And if you take, uh, it, it comes from hands lifted up, what have you. So it means behold or, or, or uh, revealed or wind or, sp or, or spirit. Breeze, wind, is a he. And uh, so if you take the ab, the aleph and the beth, put the he right in the middle of it, that gives you the essence of the Father. You following me? Mm -hmm. What is the essence of the Father? It's the, his, the word is love. Oh, see? Look. Look what we were talking about. Look where we end. Do you see? Look, what we are talking about letters, about the alphabet, just the alphabet. We are not talking about something. We are just talking about the alphabet. The alphabet in themselves is to praise God, is to describe God. Essence of the Father. You following me? What is the essence of the Father? It's the... His, the word is love. Ahab is the Hebrew word for love. See, the point I'm trying to get across is in the Hebrew, the letters themselves carry the meaning, not just the sound. And that's why we, if you understand that, you can generally infer the meaning of the word from the structure of the letters. And so that's, so uh, now when, Ab remember Abram and Sarah, uh, Sarai, I should say, changed their name. When God changed the name, he simply, what he did was he added a he in the name. He inserted the spirit of God in their lives. Did you notice what the he mean? Did you, you remember it said it's a, it's a holy? You had like a sound of ah, Allah, ah, Allah, Allah. You see what the, you see what the H? You remember? We just, uh, we just mentioned to you. So A-L is a word mean God. What is the H? The Ha. And Abraham became Abraham and so forth. Let's get See, even Abraham, Abraham or Avram, the one who passed across the river, became Abraham. He was not Abraham. He was Avram or Abraham. Sarah was without he or ha. Became with ha. Why? Because now they belong to the love of God. Get back to our little genealogy. Bear with me in Genesis 5. The first one is Adam, and that's pretty straightforward. Adama means man, no problem there. Um, so his son, Seth, means appointed. In this case, chapter 4, the earlier chapter in Genesis, Eve explains it. Eve, Eve said, For God hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom came, who came slew. So... Uh, so the, 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 mean, the, the name Seth meant, means appointed. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's, the next one is Enosh, and that is a verb which means mortal, frail, or miserable from the root Anash, which is uh, usually used of a wound or grief or something like that. Pretty tough handle to go through school with. He has a son by the name of Kenan. Not Canaan, as some of your Bibles say, it's Kenan, because uh, Balaam, in fact, does a pun on those names in Numbers. But the point is, that word can mean sorrow, dirge, or elegy. That's another tough label to go through school with. You know, hey, sorrow, you're on our team. You know, it, 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 it's a pretty tough name. <laughs> you know, can you imagine somebody calling his son sorrow? Or like I say, your name is sorry. Hey, sorry, how are you doing? <laughs> you know, so those are not meant to be names and not meant to make fun of. It is a prophecies. It is a coding. It is the word of God. Nothing there is a name. So when he has a son, he says enough of this. He named his son a mouthful, but a great name. He called his son Mahalalel. Mahal, which means the blessed or, or, or praised one. And uh, you will notice here at the end of the word what? Where is the word God? 
the praised where is the word God anyone notice where is the word God who remember where is the word God the word God is in eel you see it so this part mean praised and where is the word God at the end so eel can be added at the end like here or Emmanuel it can be in the beginning in the front of the world doesn't matter where you put it either in the end or in the in the front it is a word mean God because you might say okay where is the word God here I, because what we see we see only one word right and so this is why some people are confused they think it is it is connected it is two words let us continue I will pause the video and I encourage you actually to download this video post it in your channel if you have any Uh, L, of course, the name for God. So, Mahalalel, it's a mouthful, but what it means is the blessed God or the praised God. So far, so good. Now, his son is named Yared, which is a verb uh, meaning uh, to, to come down. And there's a whole story behind that I'll spare you for this particular discussion. And he has a son by the name of Enoch, which we've mentioned already. But what does the name Enoch mean? It turns out it's an academic term. It, 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 re, it means commencements or, or teaching, if you will. And uh, Enoch, of course, as I said before, had, uh, had a son by the name of Methuselah. And of course, that was the, his death shall bring. And that was the year when he dies is the year the flood came. We went through that. He has a son by the name of Lamech. And this is a case where the root is still available to us in our English. The, the, the root there, uh, we see it in lament or lamentation. And Lamech is, means despairing. It's a root that implies despairing. And Lamech has a son by the name of Noah. How many of you have heard of Noah? I have about 60%, Graham. That's great. Okay, I'm kidding, of course. Okay, Noah. So it's, a, uh, it's derived from the Hebrew word nacham, which means to bring relief or comfort. In fact, um, the comfort or rest is what the term implies. And uh, in fact, uh, uh, he, uh, his father tell, uh, he says he calls his name Noah, saying the same shall comfort us. The name Noah means comfort or rest. Okay. So, so this is the name of Noah. You see it? Noah is not a name. It's a prophecy about what would happen with this person. You notice? Each one of them, his name turned to be not a name. Not a single one, including Adam. So you've been with me so far. We have a genealogy here then of 10 people, Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Yared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah. That's, let's not transliterate it, let's translate it. What do those names mean? Well, Adam means man, Seth means appointed, Enosh means mortal, Kenan means sorrow, Mahalalel means the blessed God, Yared means shall come down, Enoch teaching, Methuselah his death shall bring, Lamech the despairing, and Noah comfort or rest. Man's appointed mortal sorrow. But the blessed God shall come down teaching that his death shall bring. Whose death? God's death. Man is appointed mortal sorrow, but the blessed God shall come down teaching that his death shall bring the despairing comfort or rest. Aren't you astonished? Isn't it amazing? The blessed God shall come down and his death, his teaching, his death shall bring despairing comfort rest. So when they say to us, <laughs> where is Jesus? He will come. Where is Jesus? He will die in the Old Testament. It's in the front of you from the beginning of the book. The names in the book, they witness to Jesus. So those who they are addicted to names, they think they are names. That's your ignorance. You are just a fool. And the stupid person, he sent me even an email saying the F word to me. This is how faithy some people are, trashy. Ignorant.
This is the difference between listening to someone is educated and someone is ignorant. Let me copy the link. How many of you will promise to download the video and share it in your channel? This is a video it's worth to be seen by as many as we can. And actually, if you are a person who speak a language like, I mean, your country, different language, I encourage you, please, if you can uh, make a title, let us say a sub, uh, subtitle for the video so people, they can watch it and they can learn. I just posted the link. If you are interested to download it, feel free. Now, who is the Muslim who, or the person who said he, a Christian prince, he lied yesterday? Where are you, my friend? We are done. We are here for you. Where is the guy? He said, a Christian prince, he lied yesterday. Only yesterday I lied? The day before it, no? For you? Whatever Christian prince he says to you, is lying. We know that story. Where are you? <clears throat> so you know, don't be uh, don't be shallow. The Bible is way more deep book from just a book telling stories. Every everything, every word in the Bible, you think it's a name, it's going to turn not to be a name. Right? Where is the ones who have a question? So when we ask who, where is the questions, nobody. When we are busy speaking about something else, people, they post questions. Where are they? Tell us about Allat al Uzza. No problem. Let us go to Allat al Uzza. Again, this is the link for the video. Please download and share. And I will download it later, me myself too. Because sometimes you. Uh, search for for uh, you know something and it's hard to find it you know all right let us go to alat and al uzza and actually good you asked me about this uh, topic because this is connection with the names <clears throat> Uh, let us see. Let us go to the Quran, Chapter Fifty Three. In this chapter, you will see the Quran mention clearly the names of the goddess. The names of the goddess. Uh, and before we, you know, finish about Allah and Allah and etc., you know, we will talk about what the, what even the Arab dictionary says about the roots of the word Allah. Just remind me of that. Have you seen? Lat, here this is, says Lat, what Lat? Do, do you notice the, the translator, he did not say Al-Lat and Al-Uzza? What happened to Al-Uzza? Change the translator, you will find different written words. Hilali, Muhammad Hilali, and Muhammad Khan. Look. Suddenly, there is A-L before the names. 
Do you see it? What there is before the names? Al Lat. And the funny here, the Muslims is the one who separated them for us. Thank you. What is different between this and Allah? Nothing. Al is a word meaning God. God Lat. God Uzza. <laughs> Do you see it? Those are the goddess. Al Lat. Al Uzza. And here they did not say the word uh, Al to Manat because already he repeated the word God twice. So the third one do not need to say and Al Manat for simply it's the same. It's God, the goddess. It's heavy. So Allat, Al Uzza, who are they? They are the daughters of Allah. Question. What is the root of the Arab? What made the Arab believe that Allah have daughters? It must be coming from somewhere, right? Any Muslim can tell us? Let me open my Skype, my, you know, sorry, my, uh, my pal talk. Give me a second. And by the way, I'm frozen cold because my heater is off. That's why I was late actually. I was trying to heat the house before I start. My heater is from the rusty time of Muhammad. So when you turn it on, it makes a lot of noise. You think there is like a, a truck inside the house. Uh, let us open Paltok. <clears throat> All right. If there is any Muslim who tell us why. And what made the Arab think for a second that Allah have daughters? Well, we have a Muslim, but it looked like he, he said that. I don't know what hour. I hope he's still there. His name is Ahmed. Let us, let us give him a call. We hope he's still online. It says he's away. Ah, he is not online, sadly. Let us see another one. <clears throat> Another scammer. Let us see this one. God bless you, CP. Please don't send me those things. I am Muslim. Let me address your question about Allah. Oh, okay. Ah. He's not online, but you know, how he's not online? And he, he just sent me the message. Weird. If you are a Muslim and you would like to call us, please feel free. We will be happy to take you live on air. Anyone? Now, let us go and see what is the roots of the word Allah. Is it what those ignorant people, they say? And surprisingly, I'm going to show you what the Muslim books says. Not me. Hmm. Okay, we have somebody. Ah, Mr. Ahmad, he is here.
this hook, he will answer. Hello? Okay, we have some. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, my friend. You are live on air. Do you, are you listening to us on YouTube? Do you know the topic? Yeah, 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 I know the topic, but I actually called to ask about uh, a question about yesterday's topic, if that's okay. Question about what? Yesterday's topic. No problem, go ahead. <clears throat> okay, so it's about because I actually saw the whole thing yesterday, so I don't know about this topic. So I'm asking about uh, the first five minutes. Uh, which is uh, if you know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. okay so I would like to understand because uh, I did my research mm -hmm. you said in the explanation that if the Quran is preserved then why the word deep does not exist in the Arabic mm -hmm. uh, verse so this is what you said exactly uh, and I'm quoting you, by the way. So I actually went to Arabic dictionary. And, and the I word said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I said, if the Muslim, they say that the word laji mean deep, correct? Mm -hmm. I said that too, right? Yeah. If they, if they say the word laji. Yeah, you said for deep. the sake of the argument. You said for the sake of the argument. No, no, no. no I said in one of the meaning. Go. My video is there. If they say one of the meaning is laji, the video is still there. Is deep. Yeah, I know. No, okay. you said okay. so, for, okay. for the sake so, of the So argument. when you quote me, yeah. quote everything. Don't quote just only what you like. Go ahead. Yeah, you said, but you interrupted me. I was actually right. going to say you said also for the sake of the argument. No, no. So I went no, to no, the no, Arabic no, no, dictionary. No, no. For one the sake of the meaning, argument, I said one of the meaning. I said one of the meaning mm -hmm. is. So is, is. One of the meaning is. Go ahead. Yeah. So one of the meaning of the Arabic dictionary for leji is deep. So it actually can be. <laughs> deep for the word laji that that's is, what i said if you said for the sake of the argument if we, even if we say the word laji is for deep we have another issue so the, the word and deep if they can say be in the, for the, in the dictionary in the dictionary okay let's go you see first of all have you ever seen a c is not deep mm -hmm. what have you ever seen a c it's not deep what do you mean i'm talking about the verse i'm talking about the verse too it says bahar bahar means yeah, sea yeah. Okay, have you ever need, do you need to say deep sea when the, the sea is deep anyway? Does it say... Sir, we are not does, talking does it, about the obvious. No, 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 we are talking about... Ask, no, hold on, hold on. It says Bahrain Lejai, which means a crazy mm -hmm. wavy sea. Otherwise, if you are saying that this... It, it doesn't mean wavy no, only, my friend, it means my friend, deep too. My, my friend, no, if you, if you say, if you say that... Okay, let's read the mm -hmm. verse. Is it, does the verse describe a storm or no? No, it doesn't describe a storm. Let us see what. Okay, what translation you are reading from? I'm reading from Mufti uh, Taqi. Okay, I will go there. Let me see. Let me find it so we can be reading the same Mufti. Uh, look like they don't have it here. Mududi Mufti. Can we, we can uh, just read the verse in Arabic if you want. No problem. You don't know Arabic. I heard you. This is not Arabic. No, no I am an Arabic speaker. Okay, read it for I'm us. That's wonderful. Read it for us. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. So, what does that mean? Go ahead. It is a reference for the darkness of the sea. We are starting no, 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 from no, no, the origin. No, 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 the no, darkness, we are going up. My friend, translate the word as it is. Maujun min fawqih. Maujun min fawqih. Translate. What does that mean? Wave on top of which? Wave on top of which? Hmm. Cloud. Then layer okay. of darkness. So wave in the one top. on top of okay. each other. How, how, how the waves of the ocean come? Wave uh, in the top of that wave. Wave in the top of the other wave. Wave in the top of the other wave. In the top of it, there is a cloud. And what kind of a cloud? It's a very mm -hmm. dark cloud. Correct? The darkness is for the cloud and the sea. Okay, the, hold on. The word no, cloud no, no, stop. no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us be honest. Does it say wave over wave over wave over wave and then in the top of it there is dark 
cloud. Dark cloud? It doesn't say dark cloud. It says, it says cloud layers of darkness. La layers of darkness is the reference for the sea. Uh, no, then no, 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 the word zulumat is coming after the word sea or after the word the cloud? Both. It's coming uh, no, don't tell me both. Don't tell me, don't, don't tell me both, my friend. It's in the in the sentence. Does it come look, after the look. word after the word sahab or after the word bahar? Where is the word zulamat appear? After after the word bahar and after the word sahab. No, is no, the no, no, not being honest. The okay, not, okay, hold on. Let us say that you look are, at the verse. Don't look at me. Look on, at the on. verse. Let, people will, people will laugh with us in two in, in, in two minutes. It's, so you are saying mm -hmm. that the cloud is dark and the sea is dark, right? I'm not saying the uh, cloud is dark. I'm saying cloud, then layers of darkness, one on top of each other. But, but you, as a reference for the sea, the, the darkness of the sea. No, but a second, a second ago, people heard you saying the word darkness is for both. Now you take it back. No, 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 no. You misunderstood me. You misunderstood me. You oh. are the one that says for both. I said... Volumat comes for after the word Bahar and it comes after the word Sahab, not as a reference okay, so for how it. you know it says so layers how, of darkness okay, as a so, reference so, for okay, the Bahar. Okay, let us go. I will go with you. Where in the verse it says that the word Volumat is about the Bahar, which means the sea, not about the cloud. Where it says that, I, I mean, how, okay, go easily, ahead. Mm. Easily, okay, the, in the Arabic, mm. the Sahab, then on top of it, the, there is the word G. G, uh, G, uh, mm. G in Arabic, okay. which means stop. And then volumat ba'dha fawqa ba'd. Volumat, if you go to the English translation, layers of darkness, one on top of each other. Mm. This is talking about the reference of the first sentence, mm. layers of darkness on, on the sea, one on top of each other. Okay, it hold on. exactly says all right, that. All right. Now, if you let's want, listen, let, listen, me, listen. let me complete, let me complete. Let, 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 no, Just let me make my stop point. Stop with the word Sahab. You said there's letter G in the top. You said, what does that mean? The, the letter G? It says, G means that we stop layers of darkness. This that's, is a reference for I, the first I, 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 one, I, I, Bahar, I, I, and then go on top of you. each other. I don't hear you very well. What G mean? Repeat again, slowly. G means that we stop. We stop. Then we continue read, yeah? Okay, we, guys, me and G, we stop. First, the Quran was not exist with this G. This is something you added to it. In the, in the same time, the same Have time, you read the in, the the same time the in the same time, let us, say, let us say stop. You said we stop. You are the one who said the word stop, correct? Yeah, yeah, okay. I agree. So he continues saying darkness in the top of darkness. And then you will see. It says, ظُلُمَاتِ بَعْضِهَا بَعْضِهَا Listen, does it go for Sahab or for the Mauj? Which one of them is the because Ba'diha? It goes for the Mauj. It goes for the Mauj. How you know? Hold on. I said it three times. You are the one who said you stop. And the word before Dulmat is the word Sahab, which means a cloud, correct? Yeah. Okay. So the word so the so word the word darkness come right after the word cloud, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how not do you... right after after the, after the stop. It's a reference doesn't for matter. the bahar. Doesn't the matter. Feet, so, the now he, so now he is describing what? I mean, I say to you, there's wave after wave after wave, and there is a cloud and dark darkness over darkness. And uh, here it says that mm -hmm. the last word. You agree with me that the last word is cloud, and then the word darkness mm -hmm. come after the cloud. So the darkness describe what Comes you say. Layers you say, of darkness. Hold on. We are talking the layers. Yes. So if I say red car, if I say the word car in Arabic, we say that is like the, the the word. They are different from English. So we say sayyara mm -hmm. hamra, correct? So the mm -hmm. word the word sayyara mean a car, and then we the word red come after it. In English, is different. You say that the, the, okay. the color first, and then you say. You are describing what? So you said red car. So in Arabic it says car red. So here it says sahab dark, cloud dark. So how in the world you come to the conclusion that this is about the wave and what the connection between the cloud and you said this is not about the stormy weather. Why he is talking about the cloud if he is talking about the deep sea? What the connection between the cloud and the deep sea? 
Okay, sir, I listened to you. I did not interrupt you. Let me make my point, and I will listen to you making your point. Go ahead. Good. So, we have layers of darkness covered going one on top of the other. This mm. is the first sentence. Then mm. come cloud stop. Then comes layers of darkness one on top of each other. Mm. This is a reference of the sea. It can also be the cloud. It can also be the cloud, but it's not a reference for the cloud. It is a reference for the Bahar because it is describing one on top of each other. Then it says these darkness are, are t- layers on top of each other. This is the translation English, not me speaking subjectively. Mm. Then the second reference for my claim is the last uh, statement of this verse. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَجْعَلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ نُورُ فَمَا لَهُ مِنْ نُورُ mm. Which means that the, uh, and whom God did not make light has okay. no light. All right. Which means that this is a reference for the first one. Mm-hmm. We have no light in the darkness of the sea. We are going up. Sahab, stop. Layers of darkness describing the beginning of the sentence of the Bahar. And this is perfectly normal. There is no contradiction here. So okay. I will let you speak. All right. So guys, this is what our friend he presented to us. But look what he just did. He just confirmed what I said because the, 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 the Quran speak about the darkness, this darkness, and he connect the word cloud with it. If I am a person speak about science, all of us we knew that even if the sun is there and there's no cloud at all, and even if you live in the Sahara Desert, and if you go deep in the water, thousands of, 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 of feet, there's total darkness. So the word Sahab have nothing to do, which means cloud. Cloud have no effect in the deep sea. So either you have to say that Allah mistakenly, he mentioned the word cloud, because it have nothing to do with the deep sea, or you have to say Allah, he mentioned it because it's affect the darkness. So if you are saying it's affect the darkness, obviously this is not in the sea. This is on the top of the sea. That's why it says, so if he take his hand, he cannot see it. Why? Because it's dark. There's dark, dark storm. Have you ever heard of a dark storm where you cannot even see your hand? Like if you live in the desert, you will see even sandstorm what they do. So it's so dark because the cloud will make the sun disappear. This is why it says, مِنْ فَوْقِهِ سَحَابُ ظُلُمَاتٌ بَعْضُهَا فَوْقُ بَعْضٍ So, بَعْضُهَا, as a, as a fame word, go to what? To sah- as, as, as the sahab. The sahab is the female, not the mawj. So, if we want to say the mawj, we will say, well, the mawj, ظُلُمَاتَهُ, uh, correct? You speak Arabic. I believe maybe you 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 you, mm-hmm. you do good. So ظُلُمَاتُ ظُلُمَاتُ الموج or سحاب ظلمات بعضها not بعضه بعضها فوق بعض. So obviously here is speaking about the cloud in the top because there's no connection first with the deep ocean sea and the darkness of you know of the cloud because there's a cloud or not still is going to be deep dark. You cannot see anything. And here you will see if he left his hand, why the human being he lived inside the, inside the sea? Do the human being. God here is speaking about a human being. Do a human being. He's a fish. He's a whale who go dive in the sea. No. So the one who is the one who will stretch his hand, it's a human, if a man. The man usually, my friend, he don't live in the sea, as I know. He live. He can live in the top of the sea in a, in a, in a boat. He can live in the, in the, in the land, but we never saw a, a, like a person who go down in the sea and he stay there forever. So if a man, he stretch out his hand, he hardly can see it. You do not need to stretch it, my friend, to see your hand, but because it's so dark, which mean there's no light, it's totally isolated. Even if you stretch your hand as a human, not as a fish, so what the connection between the cloud and the deep sea? Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> so first of all, I believe that, uh, let us assume that you have uh, read the Quran. Let mm. us assume that. Mm-hmm. So the Quran, by the way, I'm speaking, you speaking, you might agree, you might disagree. People no will judge, of course. No problem, sure. No problem. So the Quran, when you read it, it has the language in a way that it goes Speaking, then go backward in the sentence, explaining it, then go forward without contradiction, just explaining the second sentence and moving on, forward, backward, forward, backward, like that. 
this is the language of speaking of the Quran. If you do speak Arabic and read the Quran, okay. like some chapters, you would understand what I'm talking about. So this is what we know when we read the Quran. It has this language of going backward and forth, back and forth in, in describing the first uh, adjective of the sentence and what refers to us. Hmm. Now I told you that G on top of the Sahab is a stop. Okay. Now if you if you say volumat alone, I agree with you. But it says volumat in ba'abuha fawqa ba'ad. Ba'abuha fawqa ba'ad explaining the mawj min fawqihi mawj of the first one. It is explaining the darkness of the sea which says explicitly mawj min fawqihi mawj. And the second one after the stop of the Sahab, it says volumat ba'abuha fawqa ba'ad. So it is explaining the darkness of the wave as we go down, but we are beginning in the sentence as we are going up. This is perfectly normal as an Arabic speaker. Mm. And this confirms with the last one saying, Woman Limaj Allahu Nur, from Al Humin Nur. And God that has not made light for those who don't believe, the disbelievers, He has no light. It right. explains the first sentence. No. Why it was at the last. So this is the language speaking of the Quran. All right. But now, see, let me make one, but, one but, more point. But you see, but just one point. Just one point. Just one point. Just one point. You see the word badaha? I did not interrupt you. Just uh, let me say this. Very no, 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 I want you to explain it. I'm, I'm not going to talk. I just, do you see the word badaha? The badaha, how the word badaha goes back to the moj? Yeah, yeah. It how? goes to the moj. How, how? That's what I said. How? Is badaha fit with the word moj? Do we say ba moj? Badaha for, uh, for ba badaha? Okay, <laughs> mouj, mouj. In, okay. The okay. in the translation, uh -huh. in the translation, in the translation, waves on top of each other. Uh -huh. Then after the G, even the listeners can distinguish the similarity between them. You, you, are you listening? You are not listening. You are not listening. In the correct Arabic language, do we say mouj ba'daha or ba'duhu? If the word badaha goes what do you back, mean? I didn't get it. What do you mean? If we want to say this moj, the word moj, you see in Arabic we have a female word, we have a male word, we have word with which male and female, mm -hmm. etc. So if I want to say moj, there's moj mm -hmm. and there's moja, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, what moja? What is yeah. the difference between moj and moja? I don't know. For me, there is no difference. Moj, moja. No, why you add T at the end? What what this T? T A, you mean A. Hamzi Marfua. What Hamzi? What what uh, Moja? Moja with the with Haraka. Yeah. Hamzi on top. Moja, Moja, okay. Moja, Moja, Moja. So if I say okay, let's say I wanna say uh uh I say qitta. What is the difference between qit and mm -hmm. qitta? Male and female. Okay, so what the difference is? Male and female. Okay, so when we add in that, this word, when we add that letter at the end, we make it female. So is the word mauj here is a female word or male word? I don't get it. What, what do you mean, male and female? Wave. We are talking if about the wave. If we want to say badaha, the badaha, of the badaha, of the, of do the badaha, do badaha go to a male word? Badaha, badaha. Yeah. It is explaining motion of folkhi mauj. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. Do the, word, do the word. It is explaining the layer. Do the I'm word. Talking about the layer. Is the word mauj? What layer? What? What? Where is the word layer? It says. You see, it says badu. Even for both, it says mauj. I mean, folkhi mauj. How that explaining mm -hmm. that? So listen carefully. Baduha is about each other, right? In the top of each other, correct? They are like coming. All right. But here it's coming Last to describe layer, yeah. to describe to describe a female word, not a male. And the word mauj is not a is not a female word. Same time, you just you did not. <laughs> you, you, this is. <laughs> You did not answer anything. You did not this answer is anything. not the explanation. No, you see, this is your explanation. No problem. You see, I will go with you. After, by the way. after the no, 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 my, my friend, my, my friend, my, my friend, my friend, layer. my friend, my the friend. The first one, there is layer. My friend, I, actually, your 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 call for me. I want to say thank you first for calling me. Honestly, you made my day because look what happened. Allah, according to you, He knew about the deep sea, correct? Okay. Yeah. All right. 
if we go two verses after, mm -hmm. we will see Allah, he claimed that there is hail which is coming from mountains in the sky. So Allah the coming scientist, from, mountains from where? From the sky, you speak Arabic. I do not need to translate for you. The verse in the front of you, go ahead and read it. Okay, can you give me the reference? Where is, where is the reference? Two verses after, verse number 43. The same chapter, we are not jumping anywhere. We are talking about Allah who know nature. Thank you very much for calling me. So if Allah, he knew what is inside the deep sea, there's no way he do not know what is inside the deep sky. Have you ever heard of a God? Mm -hmm. He believed that there's mountains of hail and this is where he break hail from it and he sent it down to earth. Yes, where is the verse? I just I'm just trying to see where you are quoting exactly. This is friend, the first time that I'm verse hearing. Verse number traffic. three, verse number, sorry, 43. Just two verses after. 43? Yeah, three. Wait, wait a minute, let me open it. Hmm. The verse we are talking about, we were talking about is number 40. If you go verse number 41, then verse number 42, then verse number 43, you will find the verse which is funny. So Allah is scientist. Allah, he knew according to you what is inside the deep sea. Christian prince, he got it wrong mm -hmm. according to you. Can you accept that Allah, which I did not, Allah is an ignorant. How does God he knew what is inside the deep sea? That it's very We're talking dark. about the deep sea. The deep sea. You just you just said. Listen, listen, listen. There no, is no, 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 no. Listen, listen, so listen, now you're bringing let another. Let us not go, let, let us not to go back for backward forward talking over each other and mean mean nothing. You you made your statement. I made my statement about the deep sea and people will laugh. Now exactly. Allah, let us not Allah, talk about another. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Don't know what you mean by Don't run away because if Allah he knew the deep sea, he should not. Okay. So okay, read the verse. What kind of God he do not know where the hell is coming from? I'm trying to open the verse, sir. All right. I thought the verse in front of you, you are reading for me the same chapter. Why you need to open it? No, I'm not reading the whole Quran in front of me. I'm just preparing this question and going. Ah, I'm discussing this question, not okay, second, okay, my the friend, question. My friend, it takes two seconds to open it. Search in you know, Google, Prophet Google, Quran 24, verse number 43. Why is it going to take forever? Quran. 24 verse 43 okay mm. look like you do not know what we know that i'm living in a middle eastern country sir so the internet might not, it might not be as your internet was so fine talking to me until time. now yeah now it's, it's slow to open a verse just give me some time give me, okay no. Alam Tara in Allah, he, he yeah. right. this one mm -hmm. yeah exactly okay so what is your claim now i'm reading it my friend you said you were watching my video yesterday and I mentioned that right away when I yeah, mentioned yeah. that. So how come you did not hear it? So I do not need to explain it. It says here that وَيُنِزِّلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنْ جِبَالٍ فِيهَا مِنْ بَرَدٍ فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Translate. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. You speak Arabic. You speak English. I am the one who do not know. You are the one who teach me. I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay. So it is uh, verse 43. Alam tara in Allah yujji sahaban. So do you not realize that Allah drives the clouds, mm. then joins them together, then turns them into a sheep, mm. uh, into a heap, sorry. Mm. Then you see the rain coming out from their midst. Mm. He sends down from the sky mountains uh, of clouds having hail in them. What, 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 what mountain in the cloud? Read Arabic, read Arabic and translate. Are you reading the first translation? Are you, are, are you fooling me now? I'm reading the Mufti, Taki, Usmani you, you, translation. Your Mufti is a big fat liar. You speak Arabic, you do not need a translation. You translate. <laughs> read for me the Arabic. Oh my God. A second ago, you were you want to teach me Arabic, Do right? you want me to read it in Arabic yes. or English? Yes, read it in Arabic and translate. You translate, don't use Mufti. The Mufti is a shish kebab, is a hummus, and you have to agree. He's lying. There's nowhere it says here. <laughs> well, you know, yes, you will get this him. Is your thing, you yeah. will get him. You, you will get him busted yourself. You, you yourself, you will do it. Go read the verse and translate for no me. No one you can determine that. Uh, this is subjective. My this friend, is subjective. No, not anyway, No, no. Because, 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 Allah, because, because when, you add, when you add words like a, like a, like a cloud, you are lying. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. if, if there's a word, a cloud there. What word? Well, you know, you mean a summer when the translator he added the word like a cloud. It is a lie because it says, Well, you know, you mean a summer in in Jibel in Fiha. Where is the word, a cloud? I'm telling 
انا ترى ان الله يجي سحابا ثم يولف بينه okay. ثم يجعله ركاما hmm. فترى الوقت يخرج من خلال وينزل من جماع من السماء من جبال فيها من البر ويصيب من ي... به من يشاء ويصف عن من يشاء يكاد hmm. السنه برق يذهب بالابصار اي دون سي اني سحاب هي اكزاكتلي سو واي واي يور مفتي سين ذا وورد لايك ا كلاود Like mountains, where he, where is getting this from? <laughs> so now I'm asking you, does it say? I'm in the... saying the cloud means mountain. I'm saying the cloud means means mountain. My friend, yes. I'm saying that. Yeah, you're from the translation you were reading. No, 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 no. My, my friend, friend, my friend. The translation. No, 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 okay. no, no. Does it no, say? No, I'm my, just reading this friend, to you. There is no, there is no cloud. Don't waste, don't waste no my time. Does it say that Allah He sent down from the sky, from mountain in the sky, hail? Does it say that? Yes, it says that. من السماء okay. من جبال. Yes, right. it says. So, guys, we, uh, our friend here agreed. Thank, thank you for being honest. That Allah claimed that there is mountains of hail, and Allah He sent hail from those mountains in the sky. So, how in the world mm -hmm. Allah He knew the deep sea, but He do not know how hail is made. How such a mistake? What do you mean He does not know how hail is made? It's we a, just I just proved to you I just proved to you through the language of the Quran the first the first verse of the deep of the ocean now we are going to a second one to prove no relation between the first one my friend my friend you proved to me nothing you, you just agree that Allah he said that Allah he sent hail from mountains in the sky correct this was in the question we are talking about the deep sea ah, and you, so you Allah, just changed so, the subject okay. without so any according consent. to you according to you allah is a smart in the deep sea he is dumb in the hail that's what you are saying so yeah. here so yeah. you are, listen to so me you are listen saying, to me okay hold on hold on you see i told you, you i you told me you told me that you are calling to talk about this topic right and this is the topic allah he knew what is inside the sea and allah he knew what is inside the sky so how allah he knew if allah he knew what is inside the side you, you try to defend the stupid verse in the quran that allah he is speaking about the deep sea and then the second we ask you how allah he believed for a second that there's mountains of hail how you can explain mm -hmm. the stupidity here Have you ever heard of a God? He says such a stupid thing. It doesn't say. It doesn't say that God doesn't know. Don't lie. It doesn't say that God doesn't know. No, it doesn't say that. It says He knows. It one. says He knows. It says He knows. He knows where the hail coming from. I'm asking you: Is hail coming from mountains in the sky? It, it is coming from the cloud. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, not from the, the cloud. Don't lie. Saying. You are the one who translate. You are the one who said yes. It says from mountains in heaven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's wrong so, with that? So where is hail coming from? From mountains in heaven. And you are saying to me, what's wrong with that? So you believe as a Muslim that there is hail of mountains in heaven and Allah, he sent hail from it. Okay. So let me, so let me, so let me explain to you. Alam tara anna Allah yijji sahaban. It means that Allah, hmm. uh, so I know it's only in Arabic. So let me put that in. The mm. translator, so that I can paraphrase it for the listener. You will have been, so my you will have been. I don't know what that means in English. He composed it. You will have been. This guy. He, you know, he he collected together. He put it together. Okay, and. No, 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 I didn't put it together. I didn't put it. Uh, I'm just no, knowing I'm the word in Arabic. I'm telling you what the word means. I'm telling you what the word means. You, you, said, word mean. you, you, said, you, Allah, you said you do not know what the word means. I just told you what the word means. Okay, so I'm asking you now. When Allah He says, and Allah He send from the mountains, and you agree, from mountains in heaven, He send hail down. Mm -hmm. Is that an accurate statement, yeah. or it's a stupid statement? Do we have do we have mountains of hail in heaven, flying in heaven? <coughs> I'm trying to open the verse. When you zoom in, the sky from the jibal fiha bard fiha bard. Where is it? Where? Yeah. Hmm. So here, the mountains here about is in the context is hmm. cloud. Oof, oof, the minute, oof, oof, oof. It means see, in the, in the you, second okay, one. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The replace, you see, replacement of the second one. You see, let, let me get you busted. Shall I show you the interpretation for the verse? Do the Muslim interpret the verse? Are you, a, are you a scholar in Islam? I'm, are you a scholar? 
No, no, I'm not a scholar. Okay. I'm not a scholar. So, I might be wrong, by the way. Okay. There okay. might be better translation. Okay. There might be okay. better interpretation no, than mine. No, no, there is a this is a interpretation. This is your scholar saying that there is mountains in heaven, and Allah He sent the healer from it. And I can show it to you in Arabic. I can mm -hmm. show it to you in English. Like as an example, this is a Jalalain. This is who a Jalalain. This is not me. It says here, mm -hmm. and He sent down from heaven, from the heaven, out of mountains. Do you see it? There's mountains in heaven. Yeah, but the mountains, but the mountains, but the mountains, hmm. but the mountains. Hmm. Here, it is in the reference of the clouds. Let us let us this get let, let, us, let us get you busted. Let us, let us get you busted. Let us let, 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 us, let, us, let us get you busted. This is Al Baghawi and this is Ibn Abbas describing and telling us what happened. Read for me. I will put it in front of you. وينزل من السماء من جبال فيها من برد يعني ينزل البرد من صلا وقيل معناه وينزل من السماء من جبال أي مقدار جبال في الكثرة من البرد and then he continues mm -hmm. saying and they say وينزل من السماء جبال من برد but this is not what the verse saying the first saying ينزل من السماء من جبال فيها وقيل معناه وينزل من جبال في السماء تلك الجبال من برد عن ابن عباس رضي الله عنه the برد the برد the Jibal, it is in the meaning of the context of the something which is big. So he brings from my the friend, sky. My friend, it's a clear. The Jibal, it's okay, in the I, I want you to translate. Translate. So okay, okay, listen, as big as the mountain. Okay, let, let's let us translate. You translate to me. I I will, I will read the word. Manahu. You, you, you just told me ma I don't like translators. You just told me I don't like translators. He's a no, homo I want, or I like want your translation. You I want your translation. معناه هو ينزل من الجبال في السماء تلك الجبال من برا. Translate. Yeah, um, I just I just explained two times. If you want the first time, okay. No, no. Can you translate? So, that, من جبال من برا. No, no, no. Can you translate, you no, no, no. Can you translate my friend? Don't not? waste my time. Can you translate what Abdul Abbas said, please? This is Ibn Abbas. This is not me. I don't care your... about the Abbas. I'm, I'm giving why, you the, the dictionary. I'm it... giving you the Arab dictionary. Oh, so Ibn Abbas is a stupid person. He do not know what he's talking about. No, 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 no. I said I will give it from the dictionary. This is my style in explaining. My friend, what dictionary? Now you want to go? What dictionary? I don't know what dictionary? Style. It says in Arabic, and he sent down from the sky from mountains in it hail. And you agreed. The hail. Of mountains of hail, mountains here in the Arab. It doesn't say mountains of hail. Of it doesn't say something as big as the mountain. It, uh, listen, listen. First, it doesn't say mountains of hail. That's funny. It says min jibal in fiha min baradin. So he sent it from where? From mountains. What he sent from those mm. mountains? Barad, which means hail. Correct. No, 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 no. It says, <laughs> min jibal fiha min barad. Okay, it means okay. Jibal min jibal min min barad. Okay, okay. Why you don't want to translate? Why you don't want to translate? Why you don't want to translate? Why, want to translate what, why you don't want to translate what Ibn Abbas is saying? Is that the problem? No, I'm giving you the translation from the dictionary. What jibal what is in the context what dictionary, of the What dictionary we are reading the interpretation? Tell me what Ibn Abbas said, please. He said, معناه هو ينزل من جبال. I don't know. You tell me. Huh? I don't know. You tell me. Well, you know I translate. You are good in Arabic. You are good in English. It says here إن في السماء جبال من برد. Translate to the people. من جبال. من جبال. No, no, no. There's no جبال. من جبال. Don't lie. Read it in front of you. إن في السماء جبال. It's in from ينزل من السماء من السماء من جبال. من جبال. Hold on. Read, read. Why you don't read? Why you don't read? What's the problem? Why, suddenly you don't know Arabic now? I'm reading. Okay. 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 No, read for me. Go on, read it. Okay, uh, guys. We use the meaning mean Jibal in the sky. No, no, no. In the sky, the sky means Jibal. It's the other way around. My friend, read it. Are you blind? I'm reading it. I okay. read it. It's I just read it. Okay, it says here, why you use Shall I use Google Translation and get you busted? No, 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 use the Arabic dictionary. <laughs> so, what dictionary? What's wrong with you? Read the words one by one. It says here, in in fi samai jibalin min barad. Translate, what does that mean? Min jibalin, min jibalin. Okay, where is the word, where is the word min? 
Let me zoom more. It's in front of me. Okay, hold on. It's in front of me too here. It says, where, where is Min, my friend? You're talking about the verse, right? I'm talking here about the interpretation. It says, yeah. fi sama'i jibali min barad. What does that mean? Translate. Min jibali. Min jibali don't, don't, min barad. Be, don't be a child. Can you translate the sentence of Ibn Abbas? Yes or no? I just did three times. You don't want to not No, you did not. If translate, you ask me for the first time, I'll get up. Min barad. A sen small sentence. Translate. Inna fi jibali min barad. What? Translate. Go ahead. This is not. This is not what the verse. You are just quoting this correctly. You need the minister ma imin jibal in front okay. of me. I'm ready. Okay. Well, you need to do minister ma. Thank you. He is sending from the sky. Okay. What is in the sky? From mountains, in it. Correct. From mountains. We have in barat. Okay. So what in the mountains? Yes. It is context of the sky. It is. What? The Jibal there's, it is something for big in the there, Arabic there's mountains in, not the literal water there is of the mount, mountain. There is mountains in the sky and he sent hail from those mountains, correct? No, no, no. This is your translation. Okay, your no, translation. this is not my translation. Here we go. Let me get you busted again. This is Ajal Alain. And everybody is laughing at you now. All my talk is Arabic dictionary. I'm talking from the Arabic dictionary. Don't, what, this, what Arabic dictionary? This is the Quran. Are you reading the word by itself? Listen, he sent down from the heaven out of mountains. Do you see it? This is your Muslim. This is the official government shall website. We, of shall the we read the Bible by itself without Jesus? Uh, listen, listen, listen. You see, now you the are, Bible suddenly, now you do, out. suddenly now it's, you it's do it's not know Arabic. Arabic. Suddenly now you are more smart than the one who do interpretation. So when you want the interpretation is good for you. When you don't want it, you you dump them in the garbage. Why I'm reading the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. Okay. I'm reading Ibn Kathir. Okay. You want to read Ibn Kathir? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, guys, uh, this guy, he want to read Ibn Kathir for us. Are you sure? I'm reading Ibn Kathir the whole time. You're the one who is not listening. Okay. Let, let me ask you. Do you accept Ibn Kathir to be a smart person to explain the Quran? Yes or no? <laughs> Oh my God, what a strategy. What yes a strategy. or no, yes or no, please, yes or no. I don't want to answer this question. I'm, t I'm asking this question. No, no, question. no, you are quoting don't for me, Ibn Kathir, for what reason? The bush Listen, and go okay. on other questions. Uh, this is Ibn Kathir, let me get you busted. You are a liar and you are a fraud. Here we go. This is the verse in front of you, and this is Ibn Kathir in English. You thought you thought we do not have Ibn Kathir in English? This is in front of you, it says, he means, that there are mountains yes. of hail. There, there are. Listen, listen. You liar. You said to me you are reading from Ibn Kathir. You are not. Means that there are I mountains am. of hail in the sky. Read it for me. Then here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. It is in the tafsir of Ibn Kathir. Okay. So, okay, listen, listen. Okay, listen, listen. Ibn, 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 Ibn Kathir, when he quote the word Arabic one by one, then he says to you, this is a metaphor, metaphor of the for the cloud, correct? Yeah, based on Arabic okay. dictionary. Right but well. is it is it in the Quran saying? Isn't it you the one who says go the word Arabic word word by word? So where is the word metaphor? No, no, I never said did, that. Allah, I never said that. Did, no, the, 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 the verse be, before it. Where is the word like? Like then the likeness of. Does it say like a cloud? Does it say like mountains? It says from mountains in it. Correct. Oh my God! I just explained to you okay, that the Quran on, has a way of explaining. Go on, 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 on back and forth and explain to show the subject of just the first sentence. Just to show everybody that you. I'm not here to give Arabic lessons. Just to I'm show not you. here to give Arabic lessons. No, you are I here to give Arabic you. lesson. No, you are here to give Arabic lesson. He said it clearly. From there is there is meaning. Not there you is, clearly. Now listen. You don't Arabic. Now listen. This is Ibn Kathir. I'm going to put for you in front of you Ibn Kathir, and now you will say Ibn okay. Kathir is a stupid, and you will run away, and you will, and you will hang up. Read carefully. This I'm, is not Ibn, the, I'm not running. I'm not running. I'm not. This is Ibn Kathir explaining chapter 86, verse number six and seven, saying that the Quran teach that women have a sperm coming from their ribs and the man have a sperm coming from his backbone. This is Ibn Kathir. Is that metaphor or this Go is science? Go to my scholars and ask them this question. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. I'm not a scholar. You are the one I'm who quote for me. Question. You are I'm the one who question. quote for me, I'm Ibn Kathir. Question, you are the one who quote for me, Ibn Kathir. So suddenly, Ibn Kathir now is a stupid. Is he stupid or smart? 
I'm not answering the question. I'm answering why, this question. Why Don't not? Go you see, around I showed you, I showed you Al Baghawi, which Ibn Kathir he learned from him. He caught him to explain things. So Al Baghawi, go, go to my scholars and Al accept their challenges. This they is, are open. This is the scar those are the scholars. Ibn, Abba, Ibn Abbas, not Ibn Kathir. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of your prophet, and your prophet he pray for him to be Hebrew Ummah, the, the the ink of knowledge of the of the nation who can explain the Quran. So. Ibn Abbas said, and I'm showing you I in the screen. Four times. I'm showing you in the four screen. Times. In the, the Arabic dictionary, by the way. In the, in the, fi -sama'i jibal min barad. In the sky, there is mountains min of hair. Jibal. Min Jibal, you're liar. No problem. Min Jibal, you're you know stupid. Min Jibal, min Don't Jibal. Waste my time, so man. I said from where? Even this is make it even more horrible. Min Jibal. Translate what Min Jibal mean. Mm -hmm. Translate. Go ahead. What Min Jibal mean? <laughs> Translation based on the tafsir. It means and also based on the Arabic dictionary. It's a reference about the cloud. It's a reference about the cloud. Translate based on the tafsir. This is tafsir in front of you. This is Ibn Abbas. I can show you Al Qurtubi. I can show you Al Tabari. I can show you Al Jalalain. So now, because you are a liar and we got you busted, you don't want any tafsir except you want only one tafsir. And when we show you Ibn Kathir himself, so so stupid things, he said, "Don't ask me about this. I don't care if he's stupid or not." You have, so, you have just read the verse three so, times. So wrong. listen, listen, listen. It says in Arabic, "Min jibalin fiha." Allah He sent from mountains fiha. Where? In the sky, there is a jibal, correct? There's not like not like a cloud, mm -hmm. not like cloud like mountains. No, min jibal in fiha. And here, Ibn based Kathir, on who? Based he, on who? And who? Based on who? On you? Not based on me. Based this, on who? This is Ibn Abbas. <laughs> <laughs> this is the case Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, you just you just misquoted him by the way. And this is Ibn Kathir. The in front of you, you have misquoted it three times, which means that and this, lying, and even this on is, Abbas, and, and, and taking words out of context. No, here we go. This Jibal is Ibn Abbas. is in the reference the, of the cloud. Listen, I listen, 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 listen. This is Ibn Abbas. This is Ibn Abbas. وقيل معناه وينزل من جبال في السماء تلك الجبال من برد. And then he quote Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas himself, he said the following. Read carefully. I didn't quote him. You quote him. I am quoting him. Why? Why not? Quote him exactly. Why I will not quote Ibn Abbas? I will, why I will not quote Ibn Abbas? Suddenly Ibn Abbas is a garbage. Say he's a garbage. I will not quote him. I will quote someone else. Say, say Ibn Abbas is a stupid. Say it. Just say it. I'm not saying it. You're the one why who's not? saying. Why not? So why? So what's the problem with Ibn Abbas for you now? Is he a liar? It's not a problem for me. I just prefer no, another it's a problem for you. It's a problem for you. It is a, it is a problem for you because first you are fabricating an answer which is not existent. It is Quran. not. It is not. Secondly, if you give me five minutes, I'll open the tafsir and give you the tafsir of Ibn Abbas. But I don't want to waste the time of the viewer no, 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 by just no, searching no, my for verses. No, my friend. You are the one who is taking this part. This I will, I will give you tafsir Ibn Abbas. We don't, it doesn't take five minutes. Here we go. Let, me, let us do it in front of everybody. Everybody will laugh at you. This is tafsir Ibn Abbas. <clears throat> Here we go. Read and laugh. This is it. You said you can, if you give, give me five you minutes, you said, you said if you give me five minutes, you will open Ibn Abbas. If Ibn Abbas is open, read it. He sent down from heaven mountain where is hail. He sent down hail from mountains in heaven. This is Ibn Abbas. The one you, you threaten me, you want to show me what Ibn Abbas is saying. Here we go, it's in front of you. So you, you cannot say I don't accept it. And this is translated by you. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. What happened? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm you, not hearing you. Do you hear me? Come on, don't tell me you don't hear me. I'm showing you Ibn Abbas. He says that. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, hearing you. I'm, I'm hearing you now. I'm hearing okay. you. I'm hearing it, you. It says that. So, so this is Ibn Abbas. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. I'm opening it. So uh, just listen to me. Okay. Okay. Yinazil min sama min jibal fiha min barad. Right? Mm. It is, is that right? Mm. Okay. Now I'm coming to Ibn Abbas. It means this is Ibn Abbas. Mm. In the sky, mountains, barad, yanazi Allah, minhal barad, wa amma minal jibal, jalu hanan, it is kinaya, kinaya, and it's hold on, 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 Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas is in front of me, what are you reading? Ibn Abbas is in front of me, what are you reading? It is Ibn Abbas who is also in front of me. 
my friend this is Ibn Abbas read for me let me give you the link give me a second let me give you the link so you can open it from your side go ahead I will, I will take pictures. No, 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 sure no, 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 it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, no, we want to read the same thing, me and you together, okay? Here we go. Open the link, and this is the translation. There's no I don't know if I'm reading. No, I don't know where. No, you know what I'm reading. This is the official government website, and this is of Jordan, and this is Ibn Abbas, and you do not need to translate and lie to me about translation. I do not need to translate, and you say to me, you are lying about translation. This is done by you Muslims, published by you, and this is your government website. Read for us. Go ahead. I just did. Okay, no read. I told you. I told you the mountains is Kenaya. Kenaya. My friend, read, read, you read. Know what no read. Kenaya. No, no. This it's is not on the, the clock. Doesn't say Kenaya. Doesn't say Kenaya. Read it. Read it. He sent okay. down. وَأَمَّا مِنْ جَعْلِ الْجِبَالِ وَأَمَّا مِنْ جَعْلِ الْجِبَالِ هُنَا إِتْسْ كِنَايَةَ عَنِ السَّحَابِ فَإِنَّ مِنَ الثَّانِي عِنْدَ هَذَا الْإِبْتِدَاءِ الْغَايَةِ أَيْضًا لَكِنَّهَا بَدَلْ مِنَ الْأُولَى this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. You are reading Tafsir Ibn Abbas? Yeah, yeah. Give me the link. And I open the I open the and I op open the link I gave you, please. <clears throat> hmm. And this is the link for what Ibn Abbas, he said in Arabic. By the way, this is the first time I download this app, so <laughs> I might not know how to use it. Just a minute. My friend, there's no need for it. I've just opened the click. The link is going to open for you in a different page. You say to you, you want to click again? Click oh, again. Sorry, I did open it. I All did right. open it. All right. Does it say here, he sent down from heaven, from the heaven, mountains where is, wherein is hail. He says he sent down hail from mountains in heaven does it say that i'm reading sir okay He said he sends down hail mm -hmm. from mountains in heaven. Okay. And and with hail he punch uh, punches I don't know what that word is mm -hmm. and averts its pun uh, punishment. No, read, read, my friend. Why, why? From whom he okay. will. So the, he the sent, flashing of his let, let, let us read. You, you skip. You skip. I don't know why I was skipping. It says he sent down. He sent down. From he heaven. sent down hail from mountains in heaven. No, 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 you are not reading correctly, my friend. Read, 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 read. It says, he sent down, after the word of cloud, you see the word of cloud? After that, there is a bracket. And oh, then it says... You want me to read from... The yeah. issue is the mountain, so I'm reading from the mountain. Yeah, he said, he said, he sent down from he sent the heavens... down hail from, from mountains in heaven. Are you reading the same page I'm reading? Yeah, 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 I swear. Okay. He no, read the line before it. Read the, hail from read, read, the line did not start here. Read the, the, the top, the, the, the one in the top of it. It says he sent, there's a bracket. You see the bracket? It says he sent down from heaven, mountain wherein is hail. Where is the mountains are in heaven? Where is the hail is in the mountain. And he continues saying, he says, he sent down hail from mountains in heaven. So where is the hail mm -hmm. coming from? Coming from mountains. This is what the Quran is saying. Which is Kinaya for clouds. Where is the word Kinaya? Does the Quran not say... In this, not in my this friend, interpretation. My friend. From, from Tafsir no, Ibn no, Kathir. No, here we go. You Tabar. see, no, I showed you Al-Baghawi. I showed you al Jalalain. I showed you Ibn Abbas. I, all of them, it says, he sent a, a, a hail from mountains in heaven. And I'm explaining you what that mountain is. It's a Kenaya. How you explain to me? Okay, how in the world you add a word in the Quran? It's not exist. Does Allah, he says, 
what I meant by a mountain, I meant a cloud? Did he say that? Or you are making things up? No, 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 I'm not making things up. So where is the Just word? give me so, the so, time so, to explain. So, so. In the first verse, in the first verse, my, my, I told you that <laughs> for the Martin Foka, okay, okay. I want to give you, 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 I want to give you a sentence. For the listen, listen, don't, don't force me to hang up on you because you are playing like a kid now. If, do you agree with Ibn Kathir? I'm Say yes. Up. I'm not hanging do, do you agree with Ibn Kathir against Ibn Abbas? Yes or no? I agree with Ibn Kathir and uh, Qurtub and Tabar in this question, in this verse. Okay. Guys, do, do, did he say he ag uh, agree with the Qurtubi? Do you agree with the Qurtubi? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let us go to the Qurtubi. Is that okay with you? Yeah, yeah. All no right. problem. So if we go to Al-Qurtubi now, <clears throat> let us see what Al-Qurtubi he says. This is Al-Qurtubi in the front of your eyes. Read carefully and laugh with me. قيل خلق الله في السماء جبال من برد Translate فهو ينزل منها بردا Translate, go ahead. You are the one who said you accept Al-Qurtubi. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, very well known. And this is Al-Qurtubi. And this is what it says about that part of the verse. خلق الله why you don't translate خلق الله في السماء جبال remember Allah he created in the sky mountains of hills does it say that or I'm lying and he sent the hail from those mountains I'm reading. I mean it's a sentence why it taking you too much time I highlight it for you translate because, for us. because I'm reading because I'm reading sir Read not it. from the link that you sent me from of Ibn Qurtubi of this set here that is in front of me in Arabic <laughs> I have it in Arabic in front of me too. Translate where it says, خلق الله في السماء جبال من برد. Allah, he created in the sky mountains of hail. Am I lying or this is true translation? I'm, I'm giving you, if you give me a chance, I will explain. So it don't, says, don't, tell me, uh, am, I, am I lying or... You're not, I, telling, you're not letting I'm, me explain. Not know, letting I, you can explain as much as you want. Well, explain. This is the explanation. You want to explain the explanation? What's wrong with you? It says here, خلق الله no, في السماء. I'm reading. I'm reading the explanation. No, I'm reading it. Read I'm reading it. Read for me. Read for me. Don't waste my time. خلق الله في السماء جبال من برد. Does it say, Allah He created in the sky mountains of hills? Yes or I'm lying. And from those mountains, Allah He sent hail. Am I lying in the translation? You're mine. It has. No, no. You are misunderstanding the translation. It says. ينزل خلق الله في السماء الجبال من برد فهو نزل منها بردا فيه اضمار اضمار في نوع من العربيك which means he bring hail from mountain مفعول is محذوف وهذا قول الفراء لأن تقدير عنده التقدير عنده من الجبال برد so the mountain which is the hail and the hail is in the placement of Huffle. My friend, what are you reading? So, exactly. uh, what, 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 listen, listen, what's wrong with you? Aren't you the one who asked me to read for you? Uh, this is the Qurtubi. Okay. This is the Qurtubi. Okay, does it say in Al Qurtubi, Allah, He created mountains of hail in the sky? Does it say that in the front of you? Yeah, but okay. there is all Mahdu. And hold this on, is hold on. This and is the Arabic so, language. So he, so he sent down, he sent down from it hail. Does it say that? Yeah, but I'm telling you, from all, right. all my and then, well, even, even, the Arabic even, even if you say that, you're idiot. What's wrong with you? Continue reading. Continue reading. Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you crazy or what? It says, قوله المعنى من جبال فيها بتنوين الجبال وقيل إن الله خلق في السماء جبال فيها. So, محذوف, not محذوف. This is still the same. Still, he's saying the same. There's mountains in the sky, and there's hair is coming from them. Do you see it? 
I see it and I explained it 10 times. <laughs> Look, if you don't want to accept, if you don't want to accept my explanation, I thought it's Kinaya. If you don't like your it, explanation, go and explain you, you it with my me, you, have a you said to me, you said to me, you said to me, you said to me, it is Kinaya. You, you accept on two steps you here. Said, it is Kinaya. No, you said it to is me, Kinaya. you said you accept, you, it is you, Kinaya, sir. you accept it Al-Qur to be, and Al-Qur to be is saying that. About this so, your God, now let me ask my question. Your, let me ask your my question. God, your God, He know about the deep sea, but you do not know where the, where the, where the hail is coming from. It doesn't say that in the verse. You are a liar. It doesn't say that in the verse. Okay, can you translate the verse word by word? I did it ten times. No, you if you not. don't want to accept it, up no, to you. No, you did not. Let us move to a second no, question no, no, you because did, I no, did it ten not. times. You did not. Here let, we go. Let, let us do it. Let us do it again. Let us do it again. Kinaya. Okay. It's Kinaya. It's I a am, reference. I am, or the I am, first one. Okay. Does it say anywhere in the verse like the, from the cloud? Does it say he make it from the cloud? Does it say that, or you are adding things? I'm not adding. I'm just telling you. It's a kinai. Okay. This is the language of the Quran. So just like explain kinaya, layers on top says, of each other. It's, it's, it's so a reference clear. from the first I, one. I mean, I mean look, you, guys, guys, not, look, look, not, look, 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 look. In the previous verse, he want me to go word by word, and then he said to me, "Say here, stop." Okay. Here we are going liar, word by word. Liar! You got busted. <laughs> you, you are a liar. I never said. I never said that. Get back, guys, to the video and see if I really said that. Aren't Goodbye. you the one? Aren't you, really the, aren't you the, the one time. who said to me, the, the letter G is a stop? It's a stop. Yes. Okay. And then the word zulmat go back to the mouth. Yes. Okay. Because it says layers on top of each other. It's All a reference right. for the first All right. one. Okay. So Allah here, he described first the cloud. And then he said from between the cloud, Allah, he do things. There's a cloud, they come. And there is water come from it. And then he continue and said, وَيُنِزِلُوا Additional, and, and from the sky. So this is the new sentence. And from the sky, Allah, he, from the sky, from mountains. Min Baradin, he uses it. It's a Kinaya. Where is Kinaya? It's okay. Kinaya. Okay. From Ab 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 Abdul, it's Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. I give, I gave you the uh, tafsir. I'll send you the which, name. Which, I'll send you the name. Which tafsir? It's Kinaya. Okay. So are you saying to me that you must have Tafsir Ibn Kathir and Ibn Qurtubi. Okay. Listen. No, Al Qurtubi in front of me. Don't lie. No, I'm not lying. I'll send you the link. I'll okay. send you the link. Okay. I'll send you the link. Okay. Okay. Let, let me send you. Look like you do not know how to read, like your prophet. Huh? I will send you the text and you read for us. And you know what? I can use Google. I don't want to read your text. I, I don't want to read your link. Uh, okay, listen, the link listen, is in front listen, of me and I read it. Listen. Like, I read it two okay. times, maybe four I will, times. I will, if you don't want to accept I will it, use, it I will use Google Translation. Everybody will laugh at you. Either you are lying or lying. Is that okay? Go to Arabic dictionary. Don't tell you, me. You stop playing the, the game. Stop playing the Arabic game. Dictionary. If we use Google Translation for this page, do you accept whatever the Google translation is saying to get you busted or got me busted? I don't accept Google translation. It's not even academic. It's not even academic. Hey, okay. How, so so how why funny. why you are not reading what it says then for me then? It says in the front of you. Here I we go. thank you based on two tips here. I thank no, you based on two tips here. If you, you don't want it. Said you said Are we going to move on from this, is, this question? This is al to be. No, time. I want to get you busted. So I I have now no choice. I except, got you busted two times. Listen, I got you busted. You said, it. you, said you, wanna you, like you, said, you said you want to show me. You said you want to show me Ibn Abbas. I showed you Ibn Abbas in English. says it clearly. Allah, he sent hail from mountains in heaven. Does it say that or not? This is the English one. It says that, but it doesn't, it doesn't explain about the Kinaya from even Qurtubi and even Tafsir. Uh, so so that means there's no Kinaya, there's no, there's no metaphorical, there's nothing. Don't, don't be, don't be stupid. It says here, he sent down, this is Ibn Abbas, this is the highest. By the way, by the way, who's John? By the way, who's Matthew and John? <laughs> Who are they exactly? Okay. Do you Who want, are they? Do you, do you have to, a, a I, chain of okay, narration? I promise, I promise, you, they, I promise you, if you are a man, we finish and we talk about John. You stupid idiot. I can ask you the same question. Who is Salih? Who is Muhammad? In the whole Quran, we do not know who is Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? If you if you read if you read the Bible you will oh see my God. John there is a whole chapter himself. about Muhammad. Listen, no, there's no, there's there. no Goodbye, chapter about Muhammad. Day. There's no chapter about Muhammad. You Muslims call it Muhammad. Secondly, who is Muhammad? 
You do not know. But don't change topic. He's the last prophet. You, you don't change the topic. You're coward. You're coward. You're coward. I will use Google Translate. I will use Google Translation. Here we go. I will use Google Translation because this coward, he refused to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah
why he don't want Google translation. It's a it's a plain tech software. Doesn't take your side. Doesn't take my side. And it was said, God Almighty created mountains in the sky that contain hail. So the estimate is he descended from the sky from mountains where is ice. That's why he don't want it. He don't want us to to use Google Translation. I mean, this is software. Will not take my side. Will not take his side. If what he is saying is there, as he claim, then it should show. He said, "Show me Ibn Abbas." I showed him Ibn Abbas. He said, "Ibn Kathir." We showed him Ibn, Ibn Kathir. Even Ibn Kathir is saying that it says Allah he sent hail from mountains in heaven this is the exact word in Quran so add in your own fabrication saying maybe like like from the cloud it doesn't say that and the top of that this is Ibn Abbas in the top of that this is Al-Qurtabi in top of that this is Al-Tabari in the top of that this is Al-Jalalain this is Al-Jalalain here we go let us go to Al-Jalalain See, this is Ibn Abbas. I will switch to Al-Jalalain. So Allah, he knew about the deep sea. But Allah in a deep poo-poo when it's come to the sky. And he sent down from heaven, from the heaven, out of mountains. Does it say out of mountains like a cloud? Or a cloud like mountains? No. Why the mountains here, according to Allah, are solid mountain? Because we are talking about ice, hail, hard, like a rock. Do you see it? Call me back, call me back, so we can have fun. <laughs> Let me call him, you know. Uh oh he's rejecting my call. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> so look at this madness. Allah, brothers and sisters, he knew what is inside the deep sea. And because he knew what is inside the deep, he talked talk about the cloud. What the cloud have to do with the deep sea? And what the waves in the top of the sea have to do with the deep sea? To make it dark. Simply, the Quran is speaking about crazy, wavy sea. Your God did not know how the baby is made. Your God did not know. When I showed him Ibn Kathir saying that women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs, he said, I don't care about Ibn Kathir. But you are the one who said to me, let's Ibn Kathir. Isn't it you who said that to me, let's go to Ibn Kathir? He created it from water gushing forth, meaning a sexual fluid that come out forth, breasting, forth from the man and the women, wonderful science. And then he says, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Science. Allah, he knew what is inside the deep sea, but he did not know what is inside the women private part. And he think that women have a sperm and it's it's a sexual fluid gushing forth coming from her ribs. Who's next? Let me try to call him again. Yeah. Man, poor guy. Right away, let us go to second Samuel. This is the condition. Who's John? Who's John? Okay, who's John? So you see, guys, when you when you step in his tail. Who who who's John? In the Bible, it says who is John. We have books of tradition tell us every, everything about John, everything about Luke. But who is Muhammad? Even the Bible says who is his father? Who is you know who is his brother? But when we read the Quran, he said there is a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of Muhammad. Okay, who is who is Muhammad? Is Muhammad a name? Muhammad means the praised one. There's no way. The Quran sometimes call Muhammad Muhammad, sometimes call him Ahmad. Which one is one? If he is Muhammad, he cannot be Ahmad. 
Is he Ahmed or Muhammad? Simply because they will say to you, oh, it have the same meaning. So it's a title, it's not a word, it's not a, it's not a name. Who, who, what is the name of your prophet? There's no name. They do not know what Allah means. They do not know what Muhammad means. They do not know. I mean, we know what Muhammad means, but we do not know what Muhammad, who is Muhammad, and how Muhammad became Ahmad. Why Isa, he said, there is a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmad. Between two brackets, Ahmad, i.e. Muhammad. Uh -huh. How Muhammad became Ahmad? And Isa did not say there's a prophet will come after me. According to the Quran, his name is Muhammad. He said, Ahmad. How he is the same person? Any Muslim? No, I don't have it. Uh, maybe somebody have a Tabari in English. You know? Yeah, but if you want the link for Al Qurtubi, here we go. This is Al Qurtubi, the one he was arguing about, and you can use Google Translation in your side on it. All of you, use it. Here we go. You see, we go to Google Translation as a final result because either him is lying or me is lying. Open the page, you click translate, you will find the translation. It's a plain software. It's not taking a side. It's not a Christian software. It's not a Jewish software. It's a software. Whatever text you insert inside is going to translate for you. For sure, the translation will not be perfect, but will show you who is lying. <clears throat> Guys, I apologize. I have to turn on the heater. I'm freezing. Give me a second. I turn it off when I go online, but man, my legs is hurt from the cold. Ooh, yeah. But Allah always he keep me warm. Christian Prince, you did lie, Christian Prince. I'm going to get you busted. <laughs> so Allah, he sent hail from mountains in heaven. Suddenly they have to add words in the translations. Suddenly they have to come. Look, look at the translation, guys. Look at translation. It says here, <clears throat> he sent down from the heaven mountains where is hail. Look at the translation here. You see, this is, this is a Muslim translation. If you change the translator, this is who? Let us see who this is who. This is Biktal. Biktal is trying to be honest here compared to the rest. This is Biktal. Muhammad Biktal. Okay. What it says here? He sent down from the heaven mountain where from from the heaven mountains where is hail now translation here is not really accurate he says from the heaven he should add from the heaven from mountains to make it more accurate let us go and change the translator when you change the translator i warn you you will find a new quran this one his name is Kar, uh, Ka, Karar, karai I never heard of this guy before. Let us see. <clears throat> and he sent down hail from the sky out of mountains. Huh? This guy is being honest. Guys, do you see anywhere it says like, like from the sky, from a cloud, like mountains? Do you see the word the cloud? No. It's a Muslim translation. He sent down hail from the sky out of mountains so how you start saying this is metaphor and this it says simple language he sent down hail from the sky out of mountains this is what the this is your muslim translation let us let us change and now you will see when you change the translator usually you get a new chrome they will start inserting like like cloud like mountains. This is Muhammad Asad. Let us see what Muhammad Asad will say. Ah, this is the long. Here we go, Muhammad Asad the fraud. Here we go, guys. And then he sent down from the sky by degrees, 
Mountains, mass of a cloud. Look, 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 look. Suddenly in this translation, we have masses of a cloud. And the Muslim, they say that we don't corrupt our Quran. Masses of a cloud that charged with hail. Well, how come the previous translation have nothing like this? I mean, what happened? We go back to the previous translation. He sent down hail from sky out of mountains. Anyone see cloud? Anyone see the word charge with ice? We go to the other translation. It's a miracle. Suddenly there's a new word there. <laughs> Change the translator. So anyway, you can do that yourself. But here the funny is that this God is as smart when they want. And he's a stupid when they want. Or they play stupid when they want to save Allah. So if Allah is speaking about the deep sea as you claim here, and the darkness of the deep sea, simply, he do not need to use the word cloud at all, because the darkness of the deep sea have nothing to do with the stormy weather. It can be the most nice day and the sun in the middle of the sky, still you cannot see your finger in the deep sea. So the cloud here, by Allah mentioning the word the cloud here, he got the, the, the Muhammadan busted because now it's so clear. And the word Lujay or Lujay is a word can be used about deep. But if you say the sea is deep, this is stupid. I mean, the sea is deep always. But you can say a water which is deep if you are saying the word water. But the second you say the word Bahar, obviously you say the word deep. It's, this is why we call it Bahar. Bahar is a deep water. This is why we call it something, it's a, a huge amount of water and it is deep. Otherwise, we will not call it Bahar, we will call it a lake. So when we say Lujay, and then he describe it after that, saying that there's wave after wave after wave, he described that it's a crazy ocean, crazy sea, stormy weather. And this is what in dictionary says, Lujay is a great wavy ocean or sea. And by the way, as long as we are talking about the word Bahar and the coward he ran away, do you know that Allah, he said that, as long as we are talking about Bahar, you know, that Allah created two kinds of seas. And those two seas, one is fresh water and one is salty and they are forbidden from me together. If you go right now and search in YouTube, you will find the Muslim, they make a story, or let's say a scientific miracle. He says, Allahu Akbar, look, the water in the sea and the fresh water are not mixing, brother. My friend, that's stupid. Fresh water and the water of the sea, they mix every second. Don't fool yourself. When there is a current, it takes time, but it's mixing. If you don't believe me, go get a cup full of salt, Mix it with water and then put a container, big container, not small, like just make the salt small if you want, just to show you how silly you are. And then flip the cup, which is full of water and salt, and put it in the big container. And let us see if it's going to mix. <laughs> Here it says it's forbidden. There is a ban. And if we go to Ibn Kathir, you will see Ibn Kathir saying, Allah, he created a barrier of a rock between the two seas one is salty and one is a fresh so they cannot meet what kind of god he says such a thing that fresh sea and salty sea there is a barrier between them there is two seas two seas if you read the translation here it says two great bodies of water where is two where is the word two great bodies? it says in arabic bahrain bahrain Bahrain, two seas. If you change the translator in a miraculous way, you will find a new translation, a new meaning. Suddenly the word two seas will appear. Let's go. Read carefully. 
It is he who has let free the two seas. Do you see two seas? Between two brackets, two kinds of water. <laughs> you know, when we, when they want the word sea is a sea, when they want, it's two kinds of water, brother. Hmm. One is a fresh and sweet, and the other one is salty and bitter. And he put a complete partition between them. Complete. So why you make a video says that the water of the sea and the water of fresh water is not mixing when they are touching each other already and they are mixing. It says here complete partition. If you go to Ibn Kathir, the same book he chose for us, this is a chapter of 25 verse number 53. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. 25 53 Here Ibn Kathir, he will get them busted with their lies about this, the, the fresh water and the salty water. They mix together. It's, they meet together in the ocean, brother. And they don't mix, brother. Allahu Akbar. Read carefully. Okay, what is that? He set a barrier, complete partition between them. Meaning between the, 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 sweet, uh, the sweet water and the salty water. Barrier mean a dry land. Do you see it? Mean what? A dry land. So the stupid God of Islam, who Muslims, they, they claim that he knew what is inside the deep sea. He is teaching us that salty water and fresh water, they never mix and they have nothing to each other. Like Allah created salty water alone in a sea and he created the fresh water in different sea and they never mix. But all of us, we knew that this is stupid because all the fresh water we have is coming in a cycle motion from the sea. The sun will heat the water in the ocean. Then that will become a form of a steam and then the steam will become a cloud and then the cloud will be driven by wind will go over the land and then when they face like a, a different temperature then either rain will happen or ice will happen or snow will happen according to the stupid god of islam there is a barrier between a fresh water and salty water and they are forbidden to meet each other and the proof in front of you they cannot transgress They cannot touch each other. Finito. Complete partition. How this is can be from God? And now, who is who is John? Tell me who is John. Okay, tell me who is John. Like my friend, we are talking about this verse. Let us finish it. Okay, can we use Google translation? Who is John? Uh, by the way, there's a contradiction in Second Samuel. What? Uh, what? There's a contradiction in Second Samuel. You know, he would say it fast because, like, suppose he wanna hang up. You know, he will run away. Your Quran is the book of contradiction. Call me and prove me wrong. And here, you notice how uh, selective they are. You know, when they want Ibn Kathir is good. Okay, do you accept Ibn Kathir? I don't care about Ibn Kathir. So why are you quoting Ibn Kathir? Let me read for you Ibn Abbas. Okay, this is Ibn Abbas in front of you. Read it. Suddenly he don't want to read it. Any Muhammad want to say anything to us? I 
I, you know, I, I got you busted. I, I, you were lying yesterday. Hmm. It's very simple. If the God of Islam is speaking about the deep sea, he will not mention putting his hand out to see it because a human being don't live in the sea. And he will not mention the cloud. And he will say clearly, if you go down deep inside the sea and you put your hand out, you will not see. There is no need for a metaphor and the, 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 the games of the grammar they play. And you do not need to mention the word the cloud. Cloud have nothing to do with the deep sea. And it's not a secret that if you dive in the ocean, the more you go down, is going to be dark and people they used to dive really deep even in the time of Muhammad because this is the only way to search for pearls actually as long we are talking about diving let us talk about science isn't the Quran says that Suleiman he have divers and they are shaitan and they dive for him Muslims, is that true? And also shaitan, the devils, they are builders and divers. Eh? Suleiman, he have shaitan working for him as a builder and diver. science and what they built for him they built for him palaces and synagogue with the statues look I thought Islam is against the statues and then the brother shaitan he stole the ring of Suleiman yes brother prophet Suleiman he went to the bathroom and when he go in the bathroom he don't take the ring of Allah with him so he gave it to his wife, her name is Al Jarada. When Suleiman was in the bathroom squeezing it and freezing it, and it's not coming, Satan he come to her his wife in the look of Suleiman. Hmm. Christian friends, do you understand something called a metaphor? If not, then explain do you believe that God, Father, is gender and Jesus divine? And you see, uh, inshallah, we can go with metaphor as much as you want, but here is that a metaphor? Is that a metaphor? Is metaphor when the Muslim they say Allah he have a hand or Allah have a foot? Is it metaphor when Allah he says there is two seas? Is it metaphor when Allah he says there is hail of mountains in, in the sky? So this is a funny argument. Is it metaphor when Allah, he says the women have a sperm coming from her ribs and man have a sperm coming from his backbone? Is it metaphor when Allah, he says that sperm became a congealed dead blood? If this is metaphor, call me and tell me metaphor of what? Correct people? Because look like you know what metaphor mean and we don't. And for sure, I will be happy to learn from someone like you. Inshallah. And look, even your name is Inshallah. So can I say Inshallah, you will never call me ever because you are afraid? Is the Quran saying that Shaitan he died for Suleiman is a metaphor? Is the Quran saying that she, uh, uh, the ant she spoke to the ant is a metaphor? Is the Quran statement about the flying carpet is a metaphor? Call me and tell me about metaphor. I want to learn from you. Christian Plans, you don't know what metaphor. We are Muslims. We can teach you about metaphor. Are you there, Mr. Inshallah? I took a selfie for you. Smile. Are you there?
metaphor. The ring of Solomon is a metaphor. The flying carpet of Solomon is a metaphor. Al Hudhud, the bird who is a general in the army of Suleiman. Suleiman, he have an army of birds, chickens. Suleiman, he die in the chair, and nobody noticed that he is dead. Anyone knows how how they find out that he's dead? The guy is almost dead for a year. He dies standing, holding his stick. It happened to me once. Happened to me. It happened all the time to all people. And then, brother and sisters, the ministers and the wives of Suleiman did not notice that Suleiman is dead, brother. So, brother, then Allah He sent the termite, and the termite they start eating the stick. And you know the termite they eat, but they eat slow, brother. You know they don't eat too much food. And the stick of Suleiman was very thick. He was using an oak tree. And then after a year, brother, Suleiman he the stick broken, and then they notice that he is dead, brother. I mean, you idiot. The guy is dead, standing on a stick, and nobody noticed that he is dead. Any Muslim metaphor? Huh? Are you saying that Quran is not a metaphor? Yeah, Quran is not a metaphor. Quran is something you do. How is it going to be a metaphor? You recite from your memory. Is that metaphor too? Even metaphor, Quran is a metaphor? You idiot. <coughs> and guys, the stories of Suleiman, you will not believe. The shaitan who stole... Let us go, actually, let us see what Ibn Kathir say about this verse. You want to see it? I should go actually soon, but you guys made me lose my day. I will have to. I have many things to do. Unbelievable! Look, if we go right now to Ibn Kathir, see what Ibn Kathir is saying, or go to Al Qurtubi or Al Tabari, you will die laughing. Chapter thirty-eight, verse number thirty-four. <clears throat> Hmm. We tested him and we placed on his throne Jasad, a body. Mm -hmm. So he is not there. <laughs> and by the way, here they skip all that interpretation in Arabic. That's it, it's gone. Where is the story about what happened? And then right away they jumped that Allah He gave Solomon, Solomon a flying carpet. He's a brother. He have a flying carpet. And where is the translation in Arabic? What happened? Why the English is so short? If you go and check what is in Arabic, this is a tabari. You will see. وَلَقَدْ ابْتَلَيْنَا سُلَيْمَانَ وَأَلْقَيْنَا عَلَىٰ كُرْسِيهِ جَسَدَ شَيْطَانٍ Mutamathilan bi insan, and we, like we uh, tested Suleiman. You know, we gave him a bad, 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 bad thing, and we made Shaitan sit on his chair as a human. And this Shaitan, his name is Sahar, <laughs> and some they say his name is Asif, <laughs> and some they say his name is Asar, and some they say his name is Habqiq. I mean, what's wrong with you Muslims? What's his name, man? I'm getting dizzy. And then the story, brother, and uh, 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 Shaitan, Shait, which is, uh, uh, he took this, the, the ring of Suleiman, he threw the ring in the ocean. And the kingdom of Suleiman, or his kingdom ship, was in his ring. And the genie, his name is Sakhr. Mm hmm true story if you read the story here in Arabic you will die laughing let me give you the link you can use Google translation give me a second you can use Google translation I wish they would translate those books to English so we can die laughing so 
science. This is science, brother. This is science. Yeah, true. This is absolutely clear science. I mean, what's wrong with you? This is a pure science. This is all what science is about. Okay. So now this is a tabari, which a tabari, by the way, is nicer from other stupid books. This is smarter. Translate to English. I hope it's going to work because it was showing me as Azerbaijan, you know. Okay. Let us read a tabari in the Prophet Google, be upon him. So Allah, he put a body on his throne. The translation is not too accurate, but you know, it's a software. And he put in his throne a genie, Shaitan. They say his name is Asif, and it was said his name, not the president. <laughs> president. <laughs> I mean, Google is funny. And his name, and some they say his name is Habkik. And about which he said people in the interpretation he mentioned, who he said Abu Saleh, he said in the authority, blah, 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 blah. We throw his body in the chair. He said, his, uh, it's, it's a genie, his name is Rok, not a Rok. It's a genie, his name is Rok, or Shaitan. He's a Shaitan, his name is Rok. And then, uh, let us see. From, 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 from the body, the devil who, to whom Suleiman pushed his ring, and then he threw it into the sea. True story. And the, the Suleiman, his kingdom was in his ring. The translation here, the, the region, it says his kingdom or his authority, it was his ring. This is the Lord of the, the Ring, you know the movie? The guy who took the ring off, that's it. He's not a king no more. He lost his kingdom. And if you read the rest of the story, you will die laughing, literally. There is a, a genie, he come to the sea seven times. If, 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 if. And he was in the spring in the middle of the sea. Ainul Bahar, where the water of the sea come, because they believe that there is a spring where the sea of the water come. And he used uh, this genie, his shaitan, he go there every seven days. And he took the water from the middle of the sea and he put their wine. <laughs> they are trying. They are trying to say to you how he create, how the wine is created. Makes sense. I mean, who can deny that? Translation again is not correct. This genie or this uh, Afrit or this uh, uh, Shaitan, he go to the middle of the sea where there is a, uh, uh, like a, a, a water in the middle of the sea, in the eye of the sea. And then he go there every seven days. And then he made from that, uh, in, in that water, he put their wine so that like, the wine keep coming. All right. And then, uh, what? I mean, this translation here. Uh, it's uh, it's so he he tried he you know he made some something it's then he called it wine he says mm, yummy you taste good ah, aha, I like your wine you are making the one who is old young and you make the one who is ignorant more ignorant so he like it shaitan he like it and then when he come back he became so thirsty until he came to the where the wine is and he said oh you are so good taste let me drink it from you etc and then he drank from it and then his his brain is gone you make the ignorant ignorant and he said he come back until he's very thirsty and then he come to the eye of the uh, of the wine and he said you have a good drink you testing you are you, you are so testing mm, i love you it's so good and you make the ignorant ignorant and you made the one uh, uh, the old, the young, and etc. And then, brother, he, uh, the this uh, this uh, genie, he came to Suleiman. Yes, brother. So he came to Suleiman, and he brought it for him. And he said, 
We've been ordered to build the house. And it's been said that you don't hear the sound of iron in it. What does that mean? Don't, don't ask me. And then he brought the eggs of the hupu. I mean, what does have to do with this? Wine, sea, genie, iron, building a house, and suddenly we are jumping to the egg of the hupu. Hmm. And he put the egg of the hupu inside the glass. Uh -huh. Okay. And he go around it. <laughs> this is Hajj, Kaaba. <laughs> and then after he go around it, uh, he was looking at the egg and he cannot see it. So they put the egg inside this jar and he go around it and he cannot get the eggs. And then he went and he brought diamond. So he saw the eggs, but he cannot, he cannot take the egg. So he went and he brought a diamond. Alhamdulillah. And then he put a diamond on it and he cut the glass. Mean. And then he was able to get the eggs. Do we have any Muslim have any comment? And then, since then, they learned how to use diamond to cut stones. See, Islam explained to you how things come to exist. Technology. It was Satan trying to eat the eggs inside the jar. They put the eggs inside the jar, he cannot open the jar. So he went and he got a diamond. And then he cut the glass and he got the egg. Hey, we got the egg, we got the egg. And since then, people, they learn how to cut stones with diamond. And guys, look, I mean, look at the story, how it's connected. So if Suleiman wanted to enter the wash, what does this have to do with the topic before it? Well, so if Suleiman, he wanted to enter the washroom or the bathroom, he did not enter it with his ring. <sighs> so what the connection between the egg and cutting the door with the diamond, and then suddenly we are talking about the bathroom of Suleiman and the ring of Suleiman. What is that? No, just don't ask. When they, he went to the bathroom and Satan stole it. Actually, the translation is not accurate. So if Suleiman want to enter the bathroom, he don't enter with the ring. And then Suleiman, he took the ring from Solomon and he started doing boom boom with the wives of Solomon. So when he entered the bathroom, brother, Satan, he took his ring and he threw it in the sea. And then a fish, she ate the ring. You know, fish, they like ring, by the way. Always, you know, like when I used to go and do, do fishing a long time ago, Always I get a ring inside the fish. This is the first time I look. Sometimes, like, I was hoping, like, lately they would change the ring thing and they would get, like, a car, a brand new car keys or something. It's not working until now. So, brother, he throw it. The, I mean, it's, it's a true story. True story. Hmm.
And Suleiman, he starts, sorry, this, this shaitan, he starts having sex with the wives of Suleiman. And how the wives of Suleiman notice that this person is not their husband because he looked like him. They notice that he is so good in boom boom. He never stopped. They said, what happened to our husband? Hmm. Any one of you did save the link? Let us ask this question. How many of you click Google Translation after I post the link for you? So you can see what I'm talking about. Because maybe I'm lying. This is the link. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And then they say to you that the Quran is the book of science. A lot of science. By the way, I don't wear a ring in my hand for a purpose. What if one day, this is metaphorical, right? What if one day I go, let us say I get married, and then I give my ring to my wife. And then look what will happen. Shaitan, he is obsessed with rings. He will come and he will take the look of me when I am in the bathroom and look like I'm going to stay there for a century. And then he sleep with my wife and still I am in the bathroom. And then he sleep with my second wife and still I am in the bathroom. And Suleiman, he have 100 wife according to that page there. It says 100 wife. And still he is in the bathroom. I mean, put yourself in the shoes of Suleiman. Suleiman, he had a hundred women. And one of them, his name is Ajarada. And she was one of his wives preferred to him. Anyone remember the story about this woman? This is the woman who cut the head of a, of a king by his high heels. Do you remember the story? We mentioned it to you before. She is the daughter of half human, half genie. So the father, he was a minister for that king. And that father, he the king who is his boss, he sleep with women who they are beautiful. They take them from their husband. So once brother, he take, he come to the swimming to sleep with her. The father of this girl, he told Suleiman about her. He told him, why you don't marry my daughter? She is half a human, half zini. And then this king, he came to rape her. And she told him, it's not right to enter with all your army to have boom boom with me. Are you afraid from me? The king, he was so proud. He said, no. Okay, all soldiers, stand down. Don't enter with me. And he went inside her house to do boom boom. And then when he entered boom boom, she took off her shoe and she cut his head with her high heels. And this is why I'm warning you, women are dangerous. Especially women with high heels. This is, this is not a story I'm making. Any Muslim, you want to challenge me, I can show you the reference. Don't go there, you know. So she cut his head with her shoe. And then she threw it to the soldiers. And then when the soldiers, they say that, they said, okay, if with high heels can do that, what if she do some weapon, let her run away. True story. Do we have any uh, people of science here? Huh? Each time Suleiman he wanna have orgasm, he take off the ring. Eh? <laughs> what is the connection between his orgasm and his? <laughs> And then the brother, to make it sort of brother, so when, you know, Suleiman, he lost his kingdom, brother, and Shaitan started having boom boom with his wife, brother, he was humiliated, he became a fisherman, brother, uh, so one day he found, he went to the sea, and he ended up with a fisherman, and he was so hungry, and his hunger became so severe, so he ate the fish 
from their fishing. Uh, how he got the fish? Brother. Brother. He is so angry. He want to eat the fish and he is hungry and they don't want to give him the fish so the birds came and they fly in the top of him yes brother and then they noticed that this must be Suleiman so they apologized from him and they gave him two fish and then when he ate the fish he found the ring inside the fish And then after he became a king again, Allah, he gave him the power of the flying carpet. Hmm. Science, right? Science. And then, brother, at the end of the story, brother, he opened the belly of the fish, so you can sleep now nicely and help you tell the story. So he opened the fish belly, and he found inside the fish belly, he found his ring, and this is how he became again a king. And brother and sisters, this is a true story. Alhamdulillah. If there is any Muslim have dare to say, I object this story. They don't dare. Maybe next time we go live, we can talk about the ring of cinnamon. So just for entertainment purpose. Uh, anyway, guys, it's already we are three hours live, and even though I was saying to myself I have things to do, I'm going to make it 15 minute. So when Christian Prince he wanted to make a 15 minute videos, his video goes three hours. I'm so good in timing unbelievable imagine you are my friend and we are going like i said to you wait for me outside for 15 minutes and you are waiting like did he say 15 minutes yes brother 15 minutes for a christian prince is like a thousand years for allah <laughs> my friend don't ask me to read sahir bukhari now sahih muslim come on at three hours it's done i'm done i have to go i have work to do Unbelievable! I have the. I need to buy the bread and food and uh, come on, I'm, uh, you know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's fifteen minute. You know, it's just a fifteen minute. Time goes so fast, especially when we have Abdul with us, who is trying to get us busted. I got you busted, second Samuel. Mm, true story. Yeah. <laughs> no, if I call Zachary Naik and ask him about the story, Zachary Naik will get me busted. He will say, Brother Tata, that is the Christian Prince. He makes fun of the story of the Taman. First of all, if you watch the movie, the ring of the ring, you will see that this is a true story. The person and all the kingdom they are fighting over the ring. Because the one who has the ring, he can control the world. So you don't believe it. How come you believe in the Holy Buddha movie and you don't believe in the story of Taman? So it's proven that the story of Taman is very true. And Taman, yet he has a flying garbage. Before the boing, boing, boing. And look what happened in Indonesia. People they fly in the bong bong, they die. But if you have the flying carpet of Suleiman, brother, you want to die. Thank you very much. Okay, but, but what we can say, I mean, the flying carpet of Suleiman, the ring of Suleiman, the bird of Suleiman, the chicken of Suleiman. Suleiman, he have a general, his name is Hubub. He's in charge of water. He's a minister of watering and irrigation and find women who have no hair in the legs for Suleiman. I want to get that bird. I mean, isn't it nice to find a woman she have no hair in her legs, especially for us Middle Eastern? Our women are very hairy. If the woman, she stopped doing uh, what they call it sugar, for a month she will turn into a gorilla. I'm just joking. <laughs> we are hairy, it's a fact, you know. Once I was swimming in the swimming pool, they kicked me out. They said, you cannot, wear with, you cannot swim with your clothes. I said, I'm not wearing in my clothes, this is my hair. Like, hello. So, obviously, 
Suleiman, he have a pain. He cannot find the one woman, Middle Eastern woman, she is not full of hair. And then the bird, he found him, the queen of Saba. She have no hair in her legs. Alhamdulillah. Finally. And then when he went there, she left up her skirt and he found that her legs is full of hair. Like what? How this happened? Because genie brother, they made her look like she have hair, so Suleiman will not have boom boom with her. If, 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 true story. So be careful. Maybe the women, she don't have hair, but genie, shaitan, he can make her full of hair for the purpose of a propaganda of his evil. You go to the bedroom, your wife, she take off her clothes, you find a monkey. What happened? Satan, brother, he made her full of hair. You say to her, like, what I did marry, a woman or a chimpanzee? She might even, and by the way, don't talk about chimpanzee, that will take us for another hour. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't want to go there. 15 minutes, huh? True story. <clears throat> I mean, it's 15 minutes. I'm supposed to, I'm done now too. Uh, you remember the story of the monkey who she committed adultery, don't you? My friend, never marry a monkey. Obviously, they can leave you for the sake of a banana. Never. Bait a monkey, marry a monkey, and put your money in the bank of monkeys. Because if you do that, look what happened to this Mr. Chapanzi. He slept, even, he, I mean, guys, he was sleeping over her arm. Still, she was able to cheat with different monkey. No, I'm not making fun of Arab women. I'm talking about a fact. We are, we are you know, Middle Eastern, we are, uh, Middle Eastern in general, we are here, you know? Uh, anyway, so, uh, brother, during the pre-Islamic, uh, of supposedly the Arab before Islam, they were ignorant. Listen carefully. Before Islam, people were ignorant. Islam, after Islam, we became people of the Ring of Solomon. Flying carpet. Monkey committing sex. sex. Arab before Islam, they are ignorant. Okay, so in the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. They were all stoned in it because he had committed illegal sexual intercourse. I too stoned that along with them. If you live in Indonesia and you find some monkeys throwing coconut at a female monkey, obviously she had sexual intercourse illegally. And now they are stoned because in the monkey there they don't have rocks, you know, they have coconut. So they throw co uh, coconuts, it's more heavy than rocks, actually, think about it, think about it. So if you see in Indonesia, you see a monkey, she is being stoned by coconut, you know, then you know exactly what happened. Actually, me, myself, I have this experience. I got a monkey who did committed sexual intercourse illegally. And I asked her to walk in the jungle, and she said to me, <laughs> which means like, why? I said, because we want to get the coconut from the trees. Don't worry, we will give you umbrella. You carry it, coconut hit in, your, in the top of the umbrella, nothing happened to you. So she walked and coconut come from everywhere. I made a fortune from this story. By the end of the day, like we have like 100 tons of coconut because the monkeys go crazy. They cannot accept a female monkey committing adultery. It's against Islam, brother. I mean, you are a monkey and you are committing adultery? You cannot do that. Anyway, I spent like a year after that just to collect the coconut from that monkey. But I would do it again. You know, I paid her. I gave her 10 coconut for walking in the jungle. You know, anyway, she get paid for what did she do? You know, you know, she's a prostitute. Hello, you know, come on. Hello, <laughs> hello. Why you don't accept my story? 
And now you will see the Muslims, you saying Christian prince is lying. <laughs> he, he did not put a monkey in the jungle. Supposedly, this is the only lie they saw. The lies of the Quran and Muhammad is not there. <laughs> Christian prince is lying. Did you see? He said he, he asked a monkey to go in the jungle. Who going to believe that? All right, my 15 minutes is up. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to download the video because in a few hours from now, I will delete all the videos so we can have a fresh new start with the new videos. Thank you very much. God bless you. And until we see you again in another 15 minute, short 15 minute. Until then, Christ is Lord. Islam made up by a dummy for someone who want to be a dummy. And I am not. As simple as that. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon. Take care.